Hey, Ted. What, what you got, Phil? I, I want to show you something cool. Uh, I want to show you something cool, too. No, 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 no. I want to show you something cool. Well, I, I want to show you something, too. No. Can't we share? Uh, fine. Me first. Okay. Here it goes. Okay. Ready? This thing. Ooh. Uh, Wait, no, no. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Why am I watching this? Because uh, it's, okay, okay. cool, it's cool. Is it? That's it? Yeah. That's it? Yeah. Oh. That sucks, Phil. Fine, then you can't touch it. You can't play with it. All right. Well, how about this thing? Oh! <laughs> oh, gosh! Really? I mean, yeah, it's not the fidget spinner, but it's... it's. Oh, this I mean, is so much better than what I had to show you. Yeah, but this has... Oh, my God. It's books. This is awesome. I bet you could spin it. No. Uh, it definitely <coughs> doesn't spin no, as well. No, it doesn't spin. All right, no. here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, actually, that was not that was not bad. There we go. Uh, All right, it's like a nerd fidget spinner. Oh, I like it. Yes. Wow, Phil, where'd you get this? Uh, places and such. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's you, awesome. You Same place the you less, get the fidget the spinner. Le yeah, yeah. The less you know, oh, okay. the better. All right. <laughs> a kidding. homeless guy on the bus. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. So it's the Index Xenos Two. Oh, sick with it, yo. Yep. Eighth edition. Better than All stupid up in here. Eldar. Yeah. I love you, John. <laughs> <laughs> So here we wow. go. Yes, so this is the one that involves the orcs, yeah. the Ta'au, uh, the Ta'au now. They're no longer oh. Ta'au, they're Ta'au. Ow. And uh, the Tyranids and Gene Stealer Cults. I, I'm just kind of curious, is that the, uh, what is that? I think that's a Gene Stealer head, if I'm not mistaken. Four eyes though, what's that one, what's that, uh, that Ta'au, the Vespid? You think it might be a Vespid? I mean, maybe, I think I it's know. I think it's a Ta'au, because I think, I think or I saw a Gene Stealer. Because I saw a Gene Stealer with, um, with four eyes. Really? I just painted one recently. Yeah, so. he was just a nerd. Yeah. He may be a nerd. <laughs> really four eyes. More eyes for reading. Yeah. <laughs> what a jerk. Yeah. He should get a fidget spinner. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> then he'd be cool. Just oh, like oh, me. Oh, Phil. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, this that's, is it. That's awesome. Yeah, the that's index awesome. two. So let's open All up. Right. Let's see what's inside. Oh. That's cool. Okay. I do like how they've had in these new books that they've been going with the. Uh, They've been going with like they showing like the codex covers mm -hmm. for the new ones. Right, it's, yeah. They're, they're such cool art. I like them. So yeah, I'm glad to see that oh, that's there. Dope. Yep. So oh, they got all words. the stuff. They got lots of words. <laughs> so they start with the orcs. That's a lot of units. Go to man. Tau. Go to the Tyranids, and then go to the Gene Stealer Cult, and then uh, Battleforge Army. Yeah, and then they got the usual stuff that they go through. Army roster, detachment no, roster. No, I think that's usually like the most. I don't know. Well, I don't know. So is that kind of like out. in the old codexes? Because you did, you did, well, I, I did a, a one of these too, but yeah, <laughs> pay attention at the end. I think by that note, yeah. like, oh, it's been hours. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think the way they've talked about it is that but, nowadays for. A, Battleforged army. Yeah. All of the detachments that you take need to be um, have to share a single, at least one keyword, okay. so that right. they, um, you know, so if, if you you can have like three, like with the Imperium. So if you mm -hmm. can have a Space Wolf detachment, yeah. you can have a, a Dark Angels detachment, you can have a Blood Angels detachment because they all share Imperium. And they have to that doesn't fit into one Fock, right? Yes. Well, Some for each of those. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, like the, Start yeah, calling like the it one a Fock, detachment. everybody. Yeah. I, I haven't heard people say that. I need yeah. you to say that. And they will never say that. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> So, uh, but yeah, so that's what they have. And then there's some special ones I know with Gene Stealer cults. Yeah. They have a special no, uh, one. We'll get to that later, I guess, later when we talk about it. But, Why um, aren't you calling it a fox? Because it's definitely not a fox. <laughs> they don't share any keywords with okay. um, Astra Militarum. Okay. But they have a special rule where they're allowed to ally with Astra Militarum as long as it's, as long oh. as there's one Gene Stealer cult uh, detachment for every Astra Militarum detachment. So if you have one Gene Stealer cult detachment, you can have one Astra Militarum detachment. Okay. If you have two Gene Sealer cult detachments, you can have two Astra Militarum detachments, can, but you can't have two Astra Militarum detachments and one Gene oh, Sealer Oh, I got cult you. Time. So you have to, the majority have to be Gene Sealers. At well, least one, at least one, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. Um, yeah. All right, that sounds so, cool. Yeah, so anyway, starting I, off. I like to see their fox. Exactly. <laughs> so starting off, uh, they've just got the usual stuff, okay. talking about how to, how to look at their data slates, uh, the data sheets, whatever they want to call them here, and then going into the orcs. Yay, yes. orcs! So this is orcs, this is orcs, your orcs, specialty orcs, here. Orcs, 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 That's true. Orcs, orcs, orcs. Um, so yeah, they just they've got some you know a bit of fluff here. That um, I think they're just gonna have a whole lot more fluff once they come out okay. with the codexes. But it's kind of cool that they've got. So have you had a chance a to? Because this is the first time I've really looked at this. And yes. Like, uh, you've me seen as well. some of the. Okay. I've seen some of the other ones. Yeah. <laughs> but um, without going through it right now and like yeah. boring the audience. Um, is this this is is this evolving the fluff or is this kind of like what we know so I far? I think this is basically just like an overview okay. of what the orcs are what green. The, yeah, like exactly. That basically like that. Okay. It kind of goes into like the concept of what the orc army is, kind of concept of what the the driving forces behind them are. I, I, I believe I haven't read this one in particular, but I know for other ones. I think it's just basically 
because if a lot of people are going to be picking this up and they're going to have like one <laughs> of those five of those four yeah. armies. Okay. And this gives them the, the opportunity when you open it up. So let's say you have a Tyranid army, you bought this uh -huh. book, and you're like, well, what's the deal with orcs? I've always heard about them. Yeah. This gives you a little bit of like I'm a, thinking a about buying idea. another detachment. I mean... <laughs> I have $1,000 laying around. I'm just saying, <laughs> that might be what they do. So yeah, uh -huh. then they go over like the composition of the like the wall and the clans and Sweet. all the different stuff. And I think rumor I've heard is that when they come out with the codexes that they're gonna have like clan specific oh, things sort of like a oh. faction like you know like the like the chapter tactics and stuff like that That'd but that would be kind of cool so yes going over the mm. army list here so they've got um, their keywords you can have the clan keywords yeah. which now doesn't do anything but I believe yeah, right. because of this is that that's what they're kind of so leaning later on towards. it'll be goths or something yeah, like that yeah exactly and then so it, and then they will only affect here <laughs> exactly so well, this is um, cool here we go um, so it sounds like it's a slightly upcharged version of the last one we had yeah they just get to it was like re-rolling one dice now you get to re-roll yep. both of them yeah right? just re-roll a failed charge roll which that's is cool that's hot yeah although like, this does mean that you have to re-roll both. I believe both yeah. dice because I've had okay. that issue where there's like fleet lets you roll one or two mm -hmm. like back in the old edition yeah. and there was a rule for like the jump packs that just lets you re-roll the charge oh, okay. distance so it's like if you roll like a six and a one and you needed eight inches yeah. you still had to re-roll both of them to try and, and I think like that 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 makes sense like you would want to do that and like parse out like alright I'm going to re-roll this bad one but not the good one but yeah. I think with like with uh, failed charges you either fail or you don't Yeah. so why the hell not re-roll both although but, yeah, if you did roll you a six also, and a one like yeah. it would be nice to roll that but one, in this one, case six. if you need that eight inch charge yeah. If you like, say you're nine inches away, and now you right. just need eight inches to get into that one inch bubble, uh -huh. and you roll that six and a one, you can either re-roll because of here we go, uh -huh. or you could spend a command well, point and just re-roll that one one. Yeah. And and that get cool. and get it up there. So you have a choice at that point what you want to do. This is kind of exciting because I know that there's so many places. Um, well, <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway. Yes. Um, but although I, ha yeah. Um, I think with the nine inch, because I think the nine inch thing is key. Like I've seen a lot of like instances where you can like, you know, with uh, deep strike or whatever, yeah. you, you're they probably gonna have to a more than nine like, inches away, right? More than yeah. nine inches away. So you need to have actually, I think in this case, you do have to get nine inches yes. because you can't be eight. It has to be a little more. Be, yeah, it has to yeah. be. You have to be a little a little more, more than, than eight, nine but, inches away. Yeah. So. Um, so I think like the key thing with there is like you're getting like you're increasing your chance like really dramatically increasing yes. your chance to pull off the first turn charge. Oh, absolutely, or whatever. absolutely. So uh, yeah. I'm really excited about that. Role. Yeah, that's a good one. I think that's gonna be a good mm -hmm. one. And it also fits really into the, the like the concept of orcs being able to oh, yeah. like make those charges because that's what they're all about is that they just like uh -huh. run head on into, into the enemy. <laughs> they have they to. They get in there. They they get into the fight. That's what they do. I think it's like an orc player. Like you know, generally the way it is is like for the first like. Two thirds of the game, you're yeah. slogging across, and like by the time you get into hand to hand, seventy percent of your army is dead. So, yeah, you know, like exactly. So that's why I think this is good. I think it's uh, it really mm. fits, mm. you know, thematically with the orcs that they they're the ones that are, they get into fights because that's what yeah. they do. Um, then we've got mob rule, which is another rule here. That's uh, a unit neat. with this ability can use the number of models in their unit as their leadership characteristic. In addition, wow. a unit with this ability can use leadership characteristic of any friendly orc within unit within six inches. That's cool uh, because, yeah. uh, I mean, because that could really hurt if you've got a giant mob of boys that are just getting hurt. Also, it comes to the morale phase and it's like, well, this is not great. <laughs> but suddenly you have that 30 man squad yeah. loses 10 guys Usually you'd be losing a whole lot in that morale phase, oh. but now your leadership is twenty. You're yeah. not going to <laughs> auto pass. Yeah, basically <laughs> auto pass. You know, at that point, it's going to mm -hmm. be close. Uh, no, it is auto pass at that point. Yeah, because yeah, the only the highest you can get is a sixteen. <laughs> so at twenty, you've got it passed. You're good. Uh -huh. So that that's that's pretty interesting. It also encourages you, I guess, to really take large squads mm -hmm. of boys mm -hmm. and uh, whoever else has those mob rules. No MSUs. Yeah, exactly. Not for <laughs> not for the orcs for sure. And uh -huh. I think that's kind of cool. That really fits thematically also with the orcs. So yeah. Um, so let's go over psychic there. Powers. Psychic power. Yes. Headbanger. Power uh, of the Wah. Let's see. A D6 compared to the toughness characteristic of the closest vi a visible enemy uh, within nine inches of the Psyker. If the result is higher than the model's toughness, it is slain. It is slain. Whoa. Wow. So it's only the killing things. closest visible enemy model. So, so it's only one model. out vehicles. Yes. You're not going to take out vehicles because they're it, usually toughness seven yeah. or more. So and, and you have to just hope that their character is closer than something. So it's yeah. like if they stick that conscript or like that yep. the astropath in yeah. your way well I guess you just kill yeah. the astropath and if you hit that you know if you hit that conscript squad you're only taking one model also, of it. also now I notice that like a lot of the 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 war gear characters like the uh, ammunition cherub and stuff yeah. like that are now models so that that could potentially you could string your grot or your yeah uh, your your reroll yeah. <laughs> in front of you and like boom you just yeah. killed my cherub darn yeah 
It would have been nice, but yeah, I, like, I much ah. prefer that to losing my Terminator. Thank <laughs> yeah. you very much. Yeah, absolutely. So. But I think that could be pretty brutal, especially against um, like uh, elite forces, mm -hmm. like elite units. Like if you're going to be hitting like a Thunderwolf cavalry or something like that, you can roll a six, and suddenly that Thunderwolf cavalry cavalry is gone, oh, or yeah. a, a Black Knight biker, it's gone at a six. You uh -huh. know what I mean? Two wounds doesn't make a difference; it's it gone. Or you have like a Terminator with two wounds. Oh, and yeah. all those extra, like the points that it costs for them, uh, and boom, one's dead. Dude, could you imagine like Robo Girly Man showing up and you roll a six? <laughs> yeah, what's his toughness? I six. Know. Is it six? <laughs> yeah. oh, well, no, it has to be more, right? Uh, is higher than the model's oh, toughness. Okay. Yeah, so, right, so, it's so he's less. fine. All right. But a lot of the other characters, seriously, sure. like like, like you know, a, any of them are usually four on a bike. A five, yeah. Khan shows up yep. or whatever. Yeah. Like, you have yeah. that, or Karn, the betrayer, oh, or any right. of these guys, mm -hmm. like any of the big boys. Like they're pretty expensive. But all of a sudden, if you position them wrong and they're you know the orc psyker gets in there and he's like boom you know <laughs> bam uh, that's pretty cool so we got warpath warpath uh, so if it's warp charge on, seven uh any orc unit within six inches of the uh, psyker increase the unit's attacks characteristic by one until your next psychic wow phase. that's pretty that's, brutal yeah that's really brutal especially nowadays when you don't have like you don't get the plus one for the charge mm -hmm. you don't get the plus one for extra close combo weapon it's hard to increase the number of attacks that you get in, oh, close, yeah. in, in close combat. Right. Not quite like it was previously. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have things like rage. You don't have things like uh, counter charge, anything like that. So adding plus one to their to yeah. their ability is awesome. I did see the leak, so I, I, we'll, have to, we'll have to confirm this later. But I believe the choppa, like the standard boy weapon, gives you an extra attack. Yeah, just sort like of a like the chain sword. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think a lot of the standard ones give you like plus one attack, yeah. which is which is kind of so cool. It's like close combat weapon, it doesn't. But yeah. if it's a named, if it's a specific weapon. one, yeah, absolutely. And I think that's kind of cool. Um, this is also going to be cool if you cast that like on a squad of 30 boys yeah that's 30 extra attacks in that fight Seriously. phase you know that's I'm really so i have this like this this challenge i really want to try the all gras army because with now that like anything can wound anything yeah and i really want to try it up against like a knight army Give i don't it know it'll shot. work but yeah you know like if you could throw extra attacks on grots who are looking for yeah. shit and then looking for sixes yeah <laughs> and hey if they if they have the the um if they have the mob rule rule and you just have a giant Probably squad not, of grots yeah. that you just keep like throwing at them and just mm -hmm. mobbing around a knight. He's going to be able to attack you with his with his attacks, whatever attacks he has, and you'll probably be squishing a lot of them there. Yeah. But you're not going to be falling back because you mm -hmm. don't have to take a leadership test for that. And if they have that ability, then they're going to be you know, there's if they're a giant squad, they're not going to be losing enough guys to get to be taking anything for morale, and yeah. they'll be sticking around. And you've now got a squad of grots <laughs> holding up a knight. <laughs> In close combat, so <laughs> and if you can surround him, he uh, oh no! If you surround him, they can get out because a knight I think can like step back over oh, infantry, okay. but still. You're, you know, it's still not great for them. You know, yeah. you can still be a real big nuisance. <laughs> There's enough infantry. Yeah, you can't really step back. Exactly. <laughs> All right, the jump. Ooh, this one's really exciting. Warp charge of seven. If manifest, select this unit from the uh, select a or friendly orc infantry unit within six inches of the cycle. Remove this unit from the battlefield, and then set it up anywhere on the battlefield that is more than nine inches away from enemy models. This unit counts as having moved for the purposes of any rules, such uh, as firing heavy weapons and stuff. See, that's that one mixed with the ear we go has me excited. Mm -hmm. Like. Really, yeah, jazzercise. All of a sudden, it's like turn one, you've got this big squad of boys in the back line, and you're yeah. like, boop, you know, <laughs> if you get that psychic power off, and then boop, they're right next to your next to your important, uh, your, your important squad, yeah. and you know, they're rolling for nine inches. Re roll because of here we go, yeah. boom, you got two shots oh, to get those nine inches. So, yeah, good. that could be really brutal. All right. Mm -hmm. Hey, they have war gear. Yep, they got their war gear. I'm sure we'll get into that in a bit. So, starting off here, we've got your generic war boss. Six wounds, dude. Six wounds. Yeah, a lot of the extra characters have been getting more wounds, which yeah. I think is fantastic. Oh, yeah. That was one of my big concerns is like, as the leaks were starting to come out, uh -huh. and they were talking about um, the fact that, that independent characters were no longer going to be able to be part of units. Mm -hmm. I was a bit worried about that, because it, it had me worried about like the survivability of characters, and people were mm -hmm. like, oh, well, you can't shoot them if they're close. I'm like... Yeah, I get that, but you know, there's always a way that you can drop pot a melty gun behind there, and then yeah. they're taken out. But now that they're adding like these these wounds to them, it makes them way more survivable. So oh, that they're yeah. not gonna. The odds are they're yeah. not going to be caught quite as unaware right. as they w would have Especially in the previous. Especially when there's editions. so many weapons have like yes. do D three wounds, do yep, D six exactly. wounds, like. It's auto kill, but yeah. also, and I think like part of it, like that, I also really enjoyed because I hadn't really thought to uh, thought about that. Mm -hmm. um, but what I really enjoy, like the, the idea that 
you know, when I when I started Army, like I put a lot of thought and character into my my uh, ICs. Yeah, I don't really put it too much into yeah, uh, the boys. little Uruk yeah. or whatever his name is. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, I, I, Steve the Orc. <laughs> <Steve the Orc. laughs> so you know, like when I put a lot of uh, love and a lot of time and like really make my character a centerpiece, and they mm. die to Bolter Fire the first turn. Yeah, you know, it's like darn. Yeah, you know? it's so having like these characters that are bigger than life. Yes, are awesome. Oh yeah, yeah. absolutely, and, and it really fits into like thematically a lot of the stuff that they've been going. You know, with the books, like you have these like larger than life characters, and it's mm. like, you know, they're physically have more wounds than the average person, <laughs> and that like represents like they're like they're these larger than life characters, mm. in, in you know, and I think it's I think it's fantastic. I think it's fun. Oh yeah. I think it's gonna be great. Um, yeah. So they've got yeah, toughness uh, toughness five, uh-huh. which is nice because that means uh, anything like bolters yeah. are gonna be wounding it on fives. And they used to be toughness five, so that's yeah. uh, that's consistent. Well, yeah, but I, yeah, but it's just it's you yeah. know that's a nice thing to have there, especially with six mm. wounds because the bolters are wounding five. Oh, yeah. Strength six, yeah. pretty brutal there. I think that's um, an increase. I think it was. Five, although yeah, yeah so that, that's cool. You know, yep, a lot more um, killy. Yeah, a lot of killy. So Automatically a four plus save. Four plus save, um, which is pretty nice. And then uh, so they've got he's got Eerie Go, Mob Rule, um, units within six inches model at the start of the charge phase uh, can charge even if they advance this turn. Mm. That's awesome. Yeah. So you have these boys and you have these groups that are just like running out the board, advancing. And then charging, oh, okay. you know, so that increases their their threat range by d6, which is which can make a big difference. You know what yeah. I mean? It makes it d6 getting close to the enemy d6 inches. That could be the difference between failing or making that charge, especially yeah. if you have the reroll of the charge, which Eerie Go does. You know? Yeah. So oh, I didn't notice that he automatically gets the uh, the custom shooter, which is an assault four weapon. Yeah. Uh, versus the uh, the pistol. Yeah. Um, I'd imagine okay. you still have to pay for it because nowadays. Well, it says it comes with it. Right here. Well, armed yeah, it's model armed shooter. with, but you still have to buy it because the point oh. values, when they show the point values, uh-huh. um, the point values are without war gear. So you still have to pay oh, for it if it has okay. points. So a lot of different weapons mm. don't cost anymore. Like a bolt gun is zero. I would imagine that like a, a, like a regular chopper or a regular shooter is probably going to cost zero to add on to it. But something else like a, like a storm bolter costs two points. Mm. So for my terminators, I have my base points and then I have to pay two points for the storm bolter and then I have to pay whatever it is. I think it's like uh, whatever it is for a power oh, okay. fist. Um, so yeah, you, you still have to pay for it with the points there, uh, like when we go further on to the points, but if you're just playing power points, he comes, you, he can just come with whatever it is that you okay. want to have there. Um, but yeah, so even though it says he's, uh, he's armed with that, you still have to buy those things. Mm. And you're kind of, you have to buy those things unless you're exchanging them for something else. Oh, okay. so. Um, but yeah, so that's what he's got there. Uh, he's got an attack squig, has a melee attack. Each time a model with this attack fight, Squig fights, it can make two additional attacks with this weapon, which is pretty nice. So he's got his base four attacks that he's attacking with, mm-hmm. uh, right? And then, uh, so he makes all of those with like his with his big chopper. Okay. And then he can also make two attacks with the attack squig um, thing, which is strength four, uh, AP minus one, uh, D one, damage one. So like okay. a b- big chopper, so he'll have the four attacks with strength plus two, AP minus one, uh, two wow. damage each. So he's coming in at strength eight right off the... Yeah, strength eight. <laughs> AP minus one. That is bananas. Yeah. So like Terminators are saving on three plus. Space Marines are saving on four plus. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, other, other war bosses are saving on a five plus. <laughs> you know, <laughs> oh. as it keeps going on with that. Yeah. But um, so he has all of those attacks, and then he'll have an additional two attacks at strength four, AP minus one, one damage. Okay. So it's less it's less strength than his, but it's still two free attacks, two extra attacks yeah. that you get to make. So yeah. Right. Um, so the mega armor. And well, we oh, break, okay. uh, let's see. We're breaking heads. If okay. a clan unit fails a morale test within three inches of a friendly clan war boss, uh, they can restore order with the brutal display of violence. If they do, unit suffers D three mortal wounds, but the morale test is then considered to have been passed. That's so hot. that is really cool. So, and it's all if you want to. So if you fail the morale test and you failed it by one, you may not want to break heads because you're only losing one versus D3. Oh, but yeah. if you if you had a real bad turn and you lost like, you know, <laughs> you lost like eight, you uh, will definitely take that D3 loss instead of that eight, which oh, is pretty yeah. cool. So That's really cool. Yeah. There's lots of different ways to keep your morale up. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So then we've got the war boss on, in mega armor. I like mm-hmm. that they've got the different like major changes that you can give to, to okay. major characters as separate... Uh, things as opposed to trying to remember it's like well if I gave him the you know if I gave him the the bike did that change his toughness out yeah. of like and his movement like what, what where do I find that it's like it's all on there so you're like oh my war boss has mega armor so you just look at this one as opposed to this mm-hmm. one That's um, cool. yeah so it looks like he's the same uh, basically the same he's got one extra wound 
Um, he's got uh, one extra wound, the same toughness. Like, anytime you give people Terminator armor, yeah. uh, in least with the Space Marines, you've got that extra wound. Yeah, um, exactly. And and if you put him on a bike, safe. I think it's the same thing. And then I think they also buff the toughness, too. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anything, anything that gives you more mass. Yeah. I guess. And he's got, he's gonna have, he has one less move uh, when he puts on his uh, mega armor versus mm. when he's on the war bike, he gets plus like nine move. Yeah. So yeah, it all kind of balances out with that, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. um, and then yeah, they've got all the basic stuff that they've got going on there. Power claw is strength times two, AP wow. minus three, so we're D3 at strength damage. 12. So you're at strength twelve. <laughs> AP minus three, uh -huh. damage D3. When attacking with this weapon, you must subtract one from the hit rolls. So yeah. you're still hitting on threes because his yeah. weapon skill is two plus. Okay. So you're hitting on threes with it. Big whoop. <laughs> <laughs> hitting on threes with this thing, doing uh, strength twelve. You know you're wounded on twos for most everything unless you're hitting like a land raider. <laughs> um, right. Ooh, even land raider. I think you're still at strength twelve. You're still wounded on twos. I'm really. Raider. Yeah, because I think they're like toughness 10? nine or something like that. Oh, yeah. okay. So no, no, which no. Is, uh, no. It's it's more than tough. There's sixteen oh, that's wounds. Right. It's the sixteen wounds. wounds yeah. Like, so I know it's like at 10 wounds, now you get a damage chart. So that must yeah. be it, because they're yeah, like yeah, 16 yeah. or something like that. Yeah, yeah, they got 16 wounds. Yeah, so um, yeah, so that's what you got going on here, which is pretty cool. Um, yep, he's got all the same rules that he's got up there. And I think the war boss on the bike has the same thing. The only difference, mm -hmm. again, being his movement is increased, yeah. uh, his toughness, toughness is increased, mm -hmm. and his wounds are increased. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, then we've got the weird boy. So... Uh, let's see. Toughness four, wounds four, three attacks, um, uh, five strength. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. So before they used to be four, but it looks like unil or multilaterally they moved orcs yeah, up one strength. Kind so of he's now at knob strength. level because I think yeah. that's what a weird boy was was a knob basically yeah. with special powers. Which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. He's got his weird boy staff with strength plus two, AP minus one, D three damage. Um, wow, that's yeah. actually oh, because it's to replace the force weapon. It used to be force. Yeah, exactly. So that's force what they have. D three. Yeah, war, uh, force have that ability. A lot of those okay. have those. They get they're they're a little bit better. They cost more, but they're a little bit better. Mm -hmm. uh, so then he's got Wa Energy. Add one to any psychic test rolls made for this model for every ten friendly orc models within ten inches. Wow. However, if the total result of the test is twelve plus, this model immediately suffers perils of the warp, Oops. exactly as if you had rolled. <laughs> A double one or a double six. Wow. That's pretty awesome. So you can get yeah. like, you know, he can get a whole bunch of bonuses to his to his mm -hmm. rolls. But if you roll too well, yeah. he gives him, you know, he gets pain, it's, which kind of works along those lines. with like thematically, like they talk about, like they're, that they're powered yeah. by the force of the wall. So I was just think of the beast arises. Yep, exactly. <laughs> yeah, they turn them into basically like the bombs. Yeah, they can go off, which is pretty funny. That's cool. Yeah. So and he can manifest one psychic power in the friendly phase. And attempt to deny one psychic power in the uh, uh, in the opponent's psychic. It doesn't phase. look like there's an option to upgrade him to level two. So it's just here's your flat yeah. That's level. kind of what they've been doing. They've just been keeping him at flat okay. level unless you've got named character named you okay. know, psychers. Yeah, because I, I was looking at like Mephiston and like yeah. I think he only had like two powers and he's yep. supposed to be like this god of psychic yep. abilities. Yeah, I think uh, what's his name Valdor was the only guy that had three. Yeah, I saw. And, yeah, and I think I think um, Magnus has three. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, but I mean, but if you think about it, they've only got. Three yeah. powers in their list now. So if you have two, you're yeah. you're you're picking two out of the three. Mm -hmm. So and uh, with you know Magnus, he knows all three of them, which is kind of crazy. All right, so we've got a big mech. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got big mech and a, and Grot Euler. Okay, he's also a knob stat line. Yep, knob stat line there. Um, pretty standard. Um, and he's got the Grot Euler Ooh, there, which is kind of cool. Shock attack gun. Let's see what this does. Yeah, the shock attack gun is heavy D6, 60 inch range. Okay, that's heavy what it was before. Strength is the same. 2D6. Uh, 2D, uh, yeah, 2D6 strength. AP minus 5. Oh, so you're looking at it's eating Terminators everything. have nothing. Yeah. No save on Terminators. Each time the bearer fires, it can make one. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Before firing this weapon, roll, a di roll once to determine the strength of all of its shots. If the result is 11 plus, do not make wound rolls. Instead, each attack that hits causes D3 mortal wounds. Oh mortal gosh. wounds. <laughs> that is brutal. Because mortal wounds, as opposed to other ones, carry over. Uh -huh. So if you hit that squad and you're doing D3 mortal wounds for each of the 2D6 shots. Wow. Or the 2D6 strength, yeah, the D6 shots. Uh -huh. You're looking at a possibly doing 18 damage. Automatically, if wow. you happen to roll really well. Wow. Yeah. Of course, it's orc shooting. So. <laughs> well, but you. Uh, yeah. I get. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah you have orc shooting. So he's uh, still, well ballistic skill. Yeah. Five plus. So you get a couple. <laughs> yeah, but still brutal, it especially is. since it's mortal wounds because those will carry over. So oh. you don't just have to worry about it only hitting the one model oh, okay. each time. Each hit can only hit uh, one model. It's a regular mode. Yeah, that's really bananas. 
Um, then you've got the regular the slugger there. It's a pistol one, which is interesting. Well, it's good because mm. that means that they can shoot it even if they're within one inch of the enemy. So if you're engaged in close combat and it comes up to your shooting phase, you can actually shoot pistols, okay. which is pretty cool. So there's that, uh, the chain sword choppa. Yep, the chain sword choppa. So you can have one additional attack with it, which is pretty Although, cool. I don't think, I think the chain sword you get minus one AP, whereas this one doesn't. No, chain sword zero. It's oh, regular. Okay. Yeah, it's just a regular thing. It's just they have the one extra okay. attack. So kill saw so. is. Uh, yeah, see. kill saw is uh, strength times two, AP minus four, um, mm. damage two. When attacking like with this weapon, you must subtract uh, one from the hit rolls. Basically, that, like a power, power fist. Yeah, yeah power. Okay. Well, that looks like, yeah, the kill saw looks like a. The power claw was what did the power claw have? AP minus three. So oh. this is one better, uh, one better than an AP than that. But, but it does two D. instead of D three. Mm -hmm. So you have the possibility of doing more. You also have the possibility of doing less, <laughs> depending upon how your dice roll. Uh -huh. So if you're me, you're always rolling more oh, with this. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> All my ones, yeah. <laughs> um, so he has the ability to get the custom force field, or has custom force mm -hmm. field. This, oh, you know, you can add it, so you can yeah. take it. So uh, if this model is equipped with a custom force field friendly orc. Units that are entirely within nine inches, uh, orc units that are entirely within nine inches have a five plus invulnerable save against ranged weapons. If the big mech is embarked, the vehicle transporting has a five plus invulnerable save against ranged weapons instead. Mm. That's pretty cool because there's a mm. lot of them now where they have the auras. If they're embarked in a transport, they no longer have it because they're oh, okay. considered not to be on the yeah, battlefield. That's what so, I heard. Um, so unless it specifically says what the custom force field does say, which is pretty interesting. Mm. So throw him in inside of like a, a Morkanot or something like well, that. Well, what's interesting is like it, it seems to help those guys, but it says that the units have to be entirely within nine inches. Yep. So when you're rolling like a thirty boy mob, like more than likely you're not going to get all of yeah, them in that. Yeah, you're 90. not going to get them. Like in you're sticking your your dude with the power uh, power field like in the middle of the unit and yeah. bunch of them together. Yeah, exactly. If you, if you want to try to like get that, yeah, yeah one it's guy out, you don't get it. Yep, one guy out, you don't get it. Oh. Although I guess if the one guy's out, if he's closest. Once he's dead, oh, then the rest go. of them would get it. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So that's pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. At the end of your move, and then he has a big mechanic. Uh, mechaniac? Mechaniac? Yeah, mechaniac. Yeah. At the end of your movement phase, this model can repair a single friendly clan vehicle, uh, other than models that can fly within three inches. That model regains D3 wounds lost earlier in the battle. The vehicle can only be repaired once each turn. So that's pretty interesting. Yeah, okay. yeah pretty cool. It's automatically D3, so it's no longer like the thing where you have to roll to see if you do it. Uh -huh. You automatically D3. So tech wounds. Marines, I think, kind of have the same thing. Yes. So it's pretty similar. Yes. To that, but yeah, but it's, yeah. it's, it's that's kind of nice, cool. So. Yeah, same thing mm -hmm. with like the, uh, um, uh, what are they called? The uh, the apothecaries healing oh. D three wounds. That one's kind of weird. The apothecary one is like you roll D three wounds, but if you roll a one, you end up sitting there trying to take the uh, gene seed out, well, so you yeah. actually don't do anything. Well, actually, it's no. You do D three wounds if they got wounds, I, but sorry, if right. you're trying to bring back a carry, oh, right, bring back right, a model, right. if mm -hmm. you fail, you sit yeah. there taking out the gene seed, which is which really is, really yeah, cool. And yeah, cells. I love that. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, so that's kind of cool. I like the fact that you don't have to like. You don't have to roll to see if he can do something. It's mm. like this guy is like designed to repair these things. If he's yeah. there, he's repairing something. <laughs> right. Know? There's so. so many times where you're just like, oh gosh, come on, really? Yeah, exactly. Really? Yeah, exactly. It's like, okay, well, I guess he's not healing anything. Uh, then a grot oiler. Uh, once eat per game, a grot oiler can assist its master in making repairs. When it does so, the vehicle mech, uh, the vehicle mech is repairing regains one additional wound. Mm. So that's pretty cool. So one once per game, he gets to do that, which is. You know, it's yeah. just like one extra wound that you can throw in there. I don't know how many points he is. We'll, we can check that out in a second. Uh, um, and when oh, rolling to wound, is like it doesn't say that you remove him, right? It just says once per game, so you actually keep him even though he's already expended. Yeah. So yeah. I guess the neat thing about that is he becomes a potentially just, a wound. Yeah, because it is here. Because I think when rolling to wound this unit, always use the mech's toughness while it is on the battlefield. The death of a Grot Euler is ignored for the purposes of morale. The Grot Euler is considered to have the character keyword for the purposes of shooting attacks. Mm. So you can't shoot it unless it's right there, but I guess it's still part of the unit? Yeah. That's okay. For purposes of shooting attacks, which is kind of cool, because mm. then you can always allocate it to him if you want to. Oh, you know, okay. so all of a sudden someone's shooting you and they get a, they get a hit with a melta, mm -hmm. and you're like, oh, you're going to do D6 wounds to me? I'm going to allocate it to <laughs> the Grot Oiler. Bye-bye. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah. It's like he already he already gave me that plus one uh, wound to the vehicle. Yeah, exactly. He's, used to do. He's <laughs> useless to me at this point. It's just a floating wound. Yeah. Uh, then we've got the Big Mech in Mega Armor. Okay. Uh, looks like the same thing, except yep. he's just got the bonuses for Mega Armor as previous. Uh, plus one wound, not toughness. Yep. Plus one wound and not toughness. Oh, not toughness. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, plus one wound, not toughness, like uh, minus one to move. Yeah, so it's like he just put on, you know, 
his mega armor. Yeah, there you go. It's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, cool. Big mecha, Big mecha war, bike. war bike. Same thing. The difference is. Toughness and wound. Yep, toughness, wound, and move. So, mm -hmm. uh, and here's the big boy. Oh, Gaz Cole Fraka. Fraka. Yeah, so, so what's he guy? got? Eight wounds. Dang, Eight wounds. That's good. He's like a dang rhino. Yeah. There. <laughs> he's yeah. close he's to a it. Dreadnought. Yeah, yeah, he is. He's yeah. a dreadnought. That's crazy. Um, five attacks. Five that's attacks. Good. Toughness six. Strength six. Mm -hmm. Wow. Weapon skill two. That's really awesome. Yeah. He's got the twin big shooter, which is assault six, which oh, is awesome because wow. assault weapons you can. Uh, advance and shoot. Oh, okay. So you know if he's doing that thing with uh, with the boys when they're running up there and they they advance and charge, mm -hmm. he can advance, shoot, and yeah. then charge. Oh, hot. So yeah, that's really cool. Uh, strength five, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. um, oh no AP. Yeah, no AP. Really which is solid fine. nerf darts. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just plinging off there. You never know. Everything can wound everything. So you still yeah. got to make a save. So um, then he's got the custom claw, which mm -hmm. is um, strength times two. Oh, doing D uh, three oh, damage, which is awesome. So not D three. He's just Bam. doing three damage. Character killer. Woo. Yeah. Um, so let's see. He's got the Great Wa friendly orc infantry units within six inches of Gazgol Thraka at the start of the charge phase can charge even if they advance this turn. So again, okay. they advance like we were talking about. So he could mm -hmm. they can advance. He can shoot his uh, his uh, twin big shoot. Although he's going to be hitting on a six because you have minus one to that. Oh, okay. But still, Man. whatever. You're you're <laughs> trying to get this guy in close combat, obviously. Yeah. Um. So, uh, furthermore, friendly orc infantry models add one to the attacks characteristics if they charge this turn. Um, if they charge this turn, and Gaskell Thraka is within six inches of their unit when they fight. That's mm. of their unit. That's mm -hmm. awesome. That's awesome. So they can just charge on up there and get in plus one attack. They can, they've 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 moved. They've advanced, and then they've charged, and they've. Um, and they're getting plus oh, one man. attack in there, so they're going to be train. really brutal. Yeah, <laughs> the the yeah the brutalness is 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 real right here. <laughs> so and then he's got Prophet of Gork and Mork. Gaz Goldthrak has a four plus invul save. That's nice. It's like That's a good. like an iron halo there. Yeah. And the boss is watching. If a friendly orc unit fails a morale test and they are within six inches of Gazgul Thraka, he can restore order with a brutal display of violence. If he does so, uh, the unit suffers D three mortal wounds. Uh, but the moral, morale test is then considered to have been passed. So, same cool. thing. If they yeah. lose a bunch of guys, then you might make a difference. Okay. All right. So now we've got Captain Badruk. Ooh, this is the freebooter boss. Cool. Uh, so, so what's he got going on? He is a knob, mm -hmm. except he has a, a lot more wounds. Yep. Um, so six. Mm -hmm. uh, four times six. Gosh, he's more He's more than a big mech. Yep. So he's a super knob. Um, let's see. Uh, Daripa. So he has a uh, his weapon has a two sh two shot variable, cool. uh, twenty four inches, heavy three each of those, uh, one strength seven, one strength eight. I bet this is going to be like a plasma cannon. Yep. Um, yep. Yeah. Okay. So the AP fluctuates. Uh, or, I'm sorry, the AP is the same, but then the damage. So this is basically a plasma weapon. Yep. Uh, if you roll one or more on the. Okay. Yeah. So well, it's, pl um, it's a plasma gun uh, with a plus one uh, wound to each of those yeah, profiles. So uh, so if you roll a one, it gets hot. Except you take D three mortal wounds as opposed to being slain. Right, which that is, is a big nice. difference. That is yes. nice, especially when you have six wounds. Yes, <laughs> but, that would not be fun. No. Uh, and then he's got an ammo. He can have an ammo run as well, which is mm -hmm. kind of cool. That's good. So, um, what does the ammo run uh, do? Re rolls for him. You can re roll one dice for each ammo run. Uh, so yeah, you could re roll a shot. Cool. Uh, when ro oh, when rolling to wound. Okay, so it's the same thing as a uh, is the Agrat oiler. oiler. So flashes uh, gets uh, you can uh, reroll rolls of a one in the shooting phase for friendly units of flash gets within six inches of Badrock. That's pretty high. Nice. So then you get the ammo uh, run to the and backup. he's a flash get too. So that counts for him because mm -hmm. he's within six inches of That's himself. Dope. They've always talked about that yeah. that they include themselves That's when cool. they have that. And he has a five open vol save, so nice. he is uh, still a ballistic. Oh, oh shoot! Ballistic skill four wow. plus. Wow, weapon skill. Okay, that's yeah. good. Yeah, that if he moves, really he's shoot minus one for that. Uh -huh. But still, that's not bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, Zagstruck. This is our uh, vulture. Um, so it looks like strength six. He's a little bit nice. beefier than yep. uh, him. It's a little bit tougher than your knob. Toughness four, six wounds also. So he's a big dog. Yep. Uh, six attacks. Wow, wow. dude. That's he's brutal. Right there with, yep. Uh, Thraka. Actually, he's better well, than Thraka. Yeah. 
More attacks than Thraka. Um, Slugga, Chapa, De Vulture's Claws. Okay, so he had these like bionic feet. Um, so plus two strength, so we're now at eight. Minus three AP and D3 uh, damage. Each time the bearer fights, only two attacks can be made with this weapon. Oh, okay, because uh, okay, so this is his feet. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, so I guess he has the six attacks. Two of them can be with that. Mm -hmm. The others are with the choppa. Okay, so, not that's, bad. That's decent. I mean, otherwise, why not use their feet all the exactly. time? Exactly. Um, full throttle, the boss drag truck can advance and charge in the same turn, but if he does so, roll a D6 for... Uh, after any overwatch has been resolved on the roll of a one, he suffers a mortal wound. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Um, I guess his backpack might explode. Yeah. <laughs> <on him. laughs> and that goes kind of back to like the old Storm Boys. Like yeah. you had to roll each time you did like a special rocket. Uh, yeah. So Cyborg Body. Um, so it looks like he has a Feel No Pain on a five or six. That one is not nice. lost. You cannot uh, make a dock tool. Uh, roll as well. Uh, drill boss are friendly units of Goff Storm Boys within six inches of Zagstruck automatically pass morale test. Nice. All right. So yeah, we, and this one here says it's, it's uh, whenever the, each time this model loses a wound, roll mm -hmm. a d6. Okay. Uh, I believe that includes mortal wounds because oh, it's just right. uh, anytime they take a wound, I, I it doesn't read say, it, read yeah. That. So mortal yeah. wounds. Because it's not a save, count. it's just every time they take a mortal wound, they mm -hmm. ignore it. And so, this is also, um, I think him and Thraka, I just noticed, uh, they have the Goff faction, so yeah. now we have clans. Yeah, so you have to run them as the rest of your guys as Goff. Mm -hmm. So if you run them as different things, they can't really work otherwise. Also, so. I'm seeing that Badruck does not have a uh, does the clan. does not have a clan. Yeah, he doesn't. So, yeah, he's only got specific. So he's a freebooter, so that makes sense. Exactly. So, all right, flipsies. Cool. All Snake right. Rot. Oh, I've always wanted him to be amazing. So, let's, let's see if see. he is. <laughs> <laughs> Strength six, toughness four, uh, six wounds, six attacks. He's another big dog. He's got a movement six. So oh, that's, yeah. That's, uh, He's stealthy. That's one more than I think most uh -huh. of the guys. Yeah, that's right. right. Yeah, mm -hmm. one more than everybody else. Um, so he has, let's see, Mork's Teeth, uh, Strength User, minus one AP. Okay, so yeah. then two damage. Not amazing. Not bad, though. That's okay. Especially yeah. when you have that it's many better attacks. than a regular one, yeah, seriously. You're making a lot of lightly modified save rolls. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here we go. Sneaky get. Uh, when he's in cover, add three instead Whoa, of one to that's saving throws. Whoa, that's awesome. Wow. That's really awesome. Uh, so oh, he's, he's got a save of six. Yeah. So if he's in cover, save. yeah, if he's in cover, he's got a three plus save. That's That's okay. not bad. Yeah. Um, and chances are, yeah, he's, he can infiltrate, uh, which has changed in this. During deployment, you can set up your boss Necrot in hiding instead of placing him on the battlefield. At the end of any of your movement phases, uh, Snickerot can stalk from his hiding place. Set him up anywhere on the battlefield that is more than nine inches away from any That's enemy awesome. models. Yeah. So it's like deep striking now, except you know he's got his mm -hmm. own little flavor twist he's on like it. He's like the old Lictors. Yep, the exactly. They just pop up. It's like, hey! Cool. Red Skull Commandos. If you can uh, re-roll hits of a one in the fight phase for friendly units of Blood Axe Commandos within six inches of Boss Snickrot. Ooh. Uh, and yep, he's... Uh, he's Blood Axe Commando. Uh, um, enemy units uh, taking a morale test within six inches of Boss Snickrot add one to the result. Oh, that's brutal. Ooh, so you could potentially be killing an extra guy. Extra guy, exactly. That's pretty nice. Uh-huh. All right, so, so then we've got uh, a mech. So this is a regular mech versus the okay. big mechs. He's a baby mech. Yeah, he's a big baby mech. Uh, looks like your standard stuff. He's got the t-shirt save yeah. going on. Only strength five. Only so strength. He's, uh, uh, looks like a boy stat. He's got strength four. I'm sorry, four. Yeah, right. strength four, toughness strength four. Five. Yes. Yeah, he looks like a regular boy with mm -hmm. an extra attack. Well, I don't know. We haven't gotten to the boy. I guess we'll see. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so he looks like he's got the, you, you can add things up there, which is kind of cool. Then he's got the mechaniac. Uh, uh, power, so uh -huh. that's pretty cool. Oh, but he has to be within one inch. I think the Big Mac was within three inches, right? Yeah, I think. Yeah, within three inches. So okay. he has to be within one inch. So he has to uh -huh. basically be pretty much base more. to base. Yeah, um, they regain one wound. So not D three. They just okay. regain one wound. So he's like a yeah, he's like a little baby mech. <laughs> so he's training. Yeah, and he's got the regular Grot Oiler, which is the same thing as as the other Oiler, which is kind mm -hmm. of interesting. Then we got the Pain Boy. So, Ooh. what's so he got going on? The Apothecary. On? Yes. Strength five, toughness four, four wounds, four attacks. Well, not bad. Yeah. Um, and then... Uh, so what's he got different? He's got Erdy Singe. Ooh, the Erdy Syringe. Um, let's see, user, uh, one damage. This weapon always wounds targets on a two plus. Oh, that's cool. Other so it's like vehicles. a poison attack. Yeah, yeah. that's mm -hmm. pretty nice. Yeah, and that's kind of what it was before. Yeah. But. So that's all right. Cool deal. So you go for monster hunters. Yeah. And he's got Grot Orderly because mm -hmm. he can take a Grot Orderly. Okay. Uh, what's uh, it say? If once this per game, when this pain boy is attempting to heal a model using Doc's tools, you can, may reroll the dice, uh, either when determining if the surgery is successful or when calculating the number of wounds regained. 
Um, cool. And then it has the whole toughness thing. Yeah. Uh, Doc's tools, on a D, uh, roll a d6 each time. Um, uh, on a unit uh, within three inches that lost a wound. Uh, and ignore it on a let's see on a six plus that unit does not lose that wound. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so six plus a feel of pain. Yeah, not bad for for units one within. Unit. Uh, yeah, roll d six each time a mm -hmm. unit yeah. that is uh, within. Yeah, that's, that's pretty six cool. Plus feel of pain. Yeah. Um, okay, so in addition, at the end of your movement phase, a pain boy can attempt to heal a single uh, dude uh, within one inch. Uh, roll a d6. On a one, the model you were attempting to heal loses a wound, but on any other result, that model gains d3 wounds lost earlier in the battle. Uh, you can only make one attempt to heal given a, uh, given a model, uh, heal a given model with Doc's tools or Biker's Doc's uh, tool ability in each turn. So, yeah, it looks like, I mean, you heal it or you lose it. You lose yeah. an additional. You lose so, a wound, or yeah, or you heal yeah. three wounds, which is nice. <laughs> it's either good or bad. Yeah, not <laughs> yeah and the grot orderly lets you reroll mm -hmm. either. So if you roll that one, and you're like, yeah. oh, that's what I'm going to reroll this oh, grot. Yeah. I don't want to hurt him anymore. Uh -huh. But or you can, if you pass that one, you can then choose to reroll mm -hmm. the, uh, you know, the the d three that you've got going on there. So if you're trying to add it onto like, uh -huh. you know, onto say like Gazgul, uh -huh. you really wanted to get that d three, and you rolled mm -hmm. that one, you can roll that again, which is kind of nice. So what's interesting is that, okay, so we have clan infantry and clan biker. Yeah. So you do have to have clan. You do have to take a clan. Um, so you choose the clan. So it's the same thing. So it's right. like, you know, like the ones that have like, uh, like boss snake rot is blood axe. So if you took him with the blood axe. Okay. So, so I guess like my thought, my thought train was going on was like, um, can it heal the, the orderly if the orderly dies? But it looks like clan and then infantry, right? So clan, yep. infantry. So you could actually heal the grot yep. orderly. <laughs> if you <laughs> so be, desired. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Although he only has the one wound, so he'd be off. You wouldn't be able to heal. Oh, him. okay. Yeah, he'd be gone. All right. So, but uh, but yeah. Yeah, it's the end of movement. That's yeah. right. So, so all right, and then you got the pain boy on a bike, who's basic pain boy, except he's mm -hmm. got all those additions that bikes give you. Okay. Then you've got Mad Doc Grotsnick. This guy's always fun. Yeah. So strength five, toughness five. He's a little bit tougher than usual. Four mm -hmm. wounds, so he's up in character land, but not the super character. Yep. Four attacks, um, all that jazz. So he has Erty Syringe and the Power Claw. So he's yep. rocking the, that. Pain Boy. She pain Boy not. could get a Power Claw. No, he did a Kill Saw. Oh, you're right. No, power yeah. Claw. You're right. He can have a Kill Saw or a Power, power Claw. claw. Oh, he has the choice, and I think he's got the. That he, hasn't he been an uh, option in the past. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. It, it was an option, then they took it away, and then they gave it back. Yeah. But the kill saw was not. That was just for Max. Interesting. But I guess that makes sense. I mean, if you're gonna perform an autopsy, you yeah. bust out the, <laughs> the cadaver saw. Yeah. Um, okay. So what do we have here? Doc's tools will roll a d6. Uh, okay. So we know what Doc's tools do. Cyborg body. Uh, each time it's super loses, cyborg body. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, loses a wound. Roll a d6 on a roll of a five or six. That wound is lo not lost. So it's instead cool. of the six up, I think it's yeah. Uh, he has it's a five. A little and better feeling of pain. Yeah. Uh, one scalpel short of a med pack. Uh, if at the start of the charge phase there are no friendly orc infantry units within three inches of Mad Doc Grotznik, he will attempt to charge the nearest enemy unit if there is one within 12 inches. Oh, so he has to charge. He will do this even if uh, he advanced or fell back this turn, but not if he is already within one inch of an enemy unit. Okay. Cool. cool. He's savage. Yeah. Boys, here we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, cool. All right, okay. boys. Regular boys here. Uh -huh. Strength four, toughness four. Um, but the boss knob has a strength of five. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, so we, we did up everything one yep. point. Oh, yep. by the way, just to go back real quick, I did notice that he is uh, Death Skulls. Death Skulls, yep. So he's specifically Death Skulls. Um, but go ahead. Yeah, so then you've got um, one wound for the regular boy, two for the boss knob, mm -hmm. like they've been doing with like the sergeant level characters, which is kind of interesting, yeah. or quasi characters, however they want to do it. Well, I'm and sorry, then, but the, uh, the knobs have always been two wounds. Is that what you're... Well, no, no, no. I'm well, sorry. I'm saying they've, they've, they've been doing that for, like, like the sergeants now oh, okay. in, in, in Space Marine squads really? are plus one wound. Oh. I think they're plus one wound. They're plus... Oh, no, no, no. They're plus one attack. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Which is what they are here. Yeah. Plus one attack here and mm -hmm. plus one leadership, maybe. That's yeah. right. So he's got that. Um, yeah, so he's got three... Uh, the boss knob has three attacks. Regular boy has two attacks each. Mm -hmm. um, and their leadership there with their t-shirt saves. Yeah. You can have shoot a slug a chop a stick bomb, mm -hmm. all that fun stuff. Yeah. Um, what can they have? They can have, they contains 10 orc boys, can include up to an additional 20 orc boys. So you can have a 30 okay. man squad. Yep. Orc boys, which is pretty oh, brutal. Oh, wait, what, 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 what? What is this? 
Uh, if you include ten, uh, 20 or more, you get one additional attack characteristic for each model in the unit. Oh, Whoa! man. And that's going to stack with those other powers. So, oh if, you have a, so if you have a 20-plus man, or 20 plus man uh -huh. uh, boy squad yeah. charging in there, they get plus one for this. So you, and if they're next to Gazgul Thraka, they're going to get a plus one for that. So you're looking at four attacks per and boy. Then, then your Choppa. Yep, and your Choppa. You're looking oh, at five attacks per boy. Damn. And, and then 20, 20, that's 100 attacks. At least. <laughs> yeah, 100 attacks. Oh, brutal. Uh, plus all the plus the one for the boss now, so 101. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Still brutal. That is yeah. bananas. That's a lot of attacks. Yeah. I'm yeah, okay the boys that. are back. <laughs> the boys are back in town. Gretchen. Yes, Gretchen. So what do we got here? Oh. Uh, strength 2, toughness 2. <laughs> yep, there we go. Same thing. Yep, they're going there. One wound, one attack. Leadership yeah. 4. But their uh, ballistic skills higher, <laughs> just like it was. Yeah, so, that's great. Um, surprisingly dangerous in large numbers. If a unit of Gretchen includes 20 or more models, you can add one to their hit <laughs> rolls. So that's so, cool. They're hitting at uh, BS3+. Plus yeah, so they're on, fours. Yeah, because uh, yeah, at BS3+, plus, oh. if they've got 20 or more. Uh, okay, so weapon skill and ballistic skill, right? No, just one to the hit rolls. Uh, to and the one hit, to rolls. The hit rolls. So is that oh, to hit rolls, to both. So it's yeah. your weapon skill four. And ballistic skill uh, three, Jeez. so that's pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, so they're hitting at space marine levels if they got a big yeah. squad there. Yeah, so this pretty is cool. where I'm thinking like aggression against night is gonna yep. be fun. Like I don't know that it's gonna be an auto win. Yeah, but it's gonna be fun at least. Yeah, <laughs> with strength three, you're wounding like a oh, lot of sixes. things. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Obviously sixes on most anything. You're wounding on fives. You're wounding space marines on five. I think you're wounding like regular. Uh, guardsmen and stuff on fours, uh, fours yeah. stuff like that. So right. not bad, not, not bad. Yeah. Especially if you've got only 20 of them. Inches, thankfully. <laughs> yeah, and, but if you've got 12 of them, you know, or 20 of them yeah. shooting that, that's not bad. That's okay. Yeah, you can take down a, 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 a infantry unit pretty well. <laughs> so run herders, uh, looks like we're a boy stat line, mm -hmm. um, except one better leadership. So, but we're, uh, so then we have the grab a stick. That one's unique. Uh, plus one strength, one damage. Each time the bearer of this uh, fights, it can make one additional attack with its weapon. That's okay, cool. So it's equivalent of a, uh, a choppa. Except he's got uh, plus one strength. Oh, right, right. Yep. Um, Grot prod. Uh, plus two strength, minus one AP. But doesn't get the it. extra attack. Yeah. Yep. Um, grenades, blah, yep. blah. Uh, Squig hound. Okay. If you comprise entirely of Gretchen, fails a morale test, and is within three inches of any friendly run herd. With a squig hound, ignore the result. D three models from the unit are slain in That's instead. so much better because so they're going to be losing leadership. <laughs> like, yeah, because what are they? Leadership. They die uh, fast. Yeah. Leadership four. Oh man, their leadership is four. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and they die fast. Oh, yeah, they're going to use a lot of guys. That would be oh. real fast. Um, but yeah, Blash. What is that? Uh, grot Lash. Any unit comprised entirely of Gretchen is within three inches of any run herds. With a Grot Lash, you can reroll the results of one for them in the fight phase. Dang! Not bad. Um, oh wait, wait, wait. This is entirely within three inches. Okay, so that one's no, a little bit. It just is within three inches. Comprised entirely of Gretchen. Okay, and yeah. is within three inches. Okay, so you know the Albion. No, that's really close. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, these guys still are strength two. Really savage. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, there's a lot of a good synergy between like the the, the stuff here for the orcs, which yeah. is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Especially working along the lines of that they've got really low leadership, so they, you know, morale phase could really hurt these guys if mm -hmm. you, if you end up getting separated out. But if yeah. you've got a lot of these things where it's like you're taking D three instead of you know instead of eight, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, like, for you sure. Because they've got leadership four. If they like, no. if they take four wounds, they're ro they're losing D tw uh, D six. Models, oh, you know what yeah. I mean. So instead, you go to D three. Yeah, yeah that's they're nice. more likely losing four guys. Yeah, <laughs> more than four guys. Yeah. Um, okay, burner boys. Yep. Let's so see. boy stat line. Yep. Um, the spanner. They changed it from mech to spanner. Yeah. Uh, so the burner strength four. Oh, it's a uh, solid D three. Uh, eight inches. Uh, salt, uh, strength four. Uh, one wound before a unit uh, fires its burners, roll on one of the number of attacks and use this for all the burners firing that unit this phase. When firing a burner, it automatically hits its targets. Okay. Yep. It's okay. So, uh, yeah. And the rest of the gear is the same. Yep. Um, Mechaniac, we've seen that before. So, Pyromaniacs. Uh, what is that? The Pyromaniacs here? Uh... If this unit destroys an enemy unit in the shooting phase, it automatically passes morale tests in the start of your next turn. Oh. Uh, until the uh, uh, test until the start of your next turn. So that's cool. Wow. So it'll start. It'll uh, pass all of its uh, all of its tests in uh, your turn. Then it will pass all the tests during your uh, your wow. opponent's turn. 
and then they'll come back to your turn. So again. they're just sitting there, just glowing, all happy, yeah. like, oh, we killed them, boss. Yeah, because now if you shoot, they're high. Yeah, if you shoot, <laughs> you don't. You can charge a unit that you haven't shot at. Okay. So if they shoot and destroy that one unit, you then might be like, hey, let's take the chance. Let's charge into this other unit over here because oh. even if I lose some guys, I'm automatically going to pass my morale test because that sure. unit was dead. So oh, you don't have to worry about that with their leadership six. So. Real interesting. Yeah. And yeah, you can have, uh, what's the spanner do? Oh, that's the mechanic. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. he's got the ability to do mechanic stuff. Although it doesn't seem like three. they changed the burner, because it used to be that it would uh, also count as a power weapon, so now it's just a, a shooting burn. Burn a melee. Oh, 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 I didn't see yep. that. Oh, it's down yep. there. It's minus two oh, AP, okay. that's so not, not bad. bad. That's okay. Yeah, strength user minus, uh, okay. minus two AP. So now that we're strength four, that's great. Yep. Um, <laughs> now that we're strength four, so <laughs> I'm strength four. <laughs> exactly. Probably down around yeah. like two and a half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like a strength one. I feel like. <laughs> Tank busters, here we go. Um, so it looks like we're regular stat line. Yeah, you can get a boss knob, a uh, bomb squig with it. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Pair of rocket pistols. So we have ro <laughs> missile launcher pistols. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, strength seven, AP, AB minus two, D three. Yeah. Uh, where's rocket launcher? No, so we're no one pressure, less. Ted. But I want to see a whole bunch of pair of rocket pistols. Oh, <laughs> no. see, they made a model, like one model with those. I think. Yeah. Uh, anyways, so, so one strength higher for the regular rocket launcher. Yep. So we're double the. Uh, Oh, the pistol too. So you are firing. Yeah. Anyway, um, same AP and wow. So you're hitting at full uh, three, three damage. Instead of D three. So there's a character killer. Yeah. A squig bomb. Uh, strength inches. eight. AP minus two. Uh -huh. D six damage. This weapon cannot target units that can fly. Remove the bearer after making this attack. Wow. So he just goes up and he blows up in their face, which is kind of interesting. Nice. I wonder, yeah. do you have to roll for that? Like roll to assault, or is it just do it? I don't think it's an assault. It's an assault weapon. Yeah. But you so still roll you just roll to hit. So okay. it's like he just gets shot off into them. Okay. Which is kind of interesting. So, so. so this what so you're rolling at your ballistic skill of five plus, right? Uh, two oh, plus. Oh, I gotcha. Okay. The so bomb that's good. two good. plus. I gotcha. Yeah. Uh, so that's not bad. Not I, bad. I think at that's all. what it was before. So yeah. that's good. Um, although if you miss, he's just dead anyway. Yeah, if you happen to roll the one, he's just dead. Tank hammer. Make a single hit uh, roll when ma attacking with this weapon. If it hits, inflict D3 mortal wounds on his target, when re then remove the bearer. Wow! He's a suicide bomber. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, uh, but D3 mortal wounds. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. But then, of course, he's hitting on 3+. plus. If he doesn't make it, he's just toast, right? Uh, or does it say if it hits? If okay, it hits, so if it doesn't yeah. hit, then you're fine. Yeah, you're fine as long as you don't That's hit. That's good. Yeah, because it hasn't blown up. That's <laughs> good. Yeah. Uh, cool. So tank bust of bombs, uh, grenade D3. Yeah. It's the same stat line as a rocket or a squid bomb. Yeah, not bad. Um, abilities. Here we go. Tank hunters. You can reroll failed hit rolls uh, for attacks made by this unit if it's a vehicle. Nice. Um, and bomb squig, the death of a bomb squig that gets ignored for morale. Nice. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Just throw it in there. I guess we'll find out how many points it's going to be. Yeah. So. Uh, two. Is it two points? I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> if, if we play, it's going to yeah. be two. Well, what's it say for power? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a lot more than two, I'm sure. Yeah. It may not be. I don't know. Yeah. We'll see. One use only stuff is, you know, it's only uh -huh. one use only. All right. So we got knobs. Uh, and then you can take wa knobs with uh, the wa banner, and you can take knobs on war bikes. Pretty cool. Mm hmm. So. Um, they've got, let's see, strength five, toughness four, two wounds. So yeah, they're like boss knobs. Oh no. Okay. Yes, they're like, uh, they're exactly like boss knobs, except one, minus one leadership. Okay. So, because you can also take a boss knob. Oh, wow. <laughs> or you get a boss knob with it. There you go. Um, interesting. The same, same powers that you've got there. Yep. Keep in order. Roll a D6 for each model that flees from a clan unit that is within three inches of any friendly clan unit with this ability. Uh -huh. On a six, that model doesn't flee. Okay. Oh. That's nice. So... Auto, auto each leadership. Model. Well, not auto, but pretty close to auto, auto leadership. leadership. For each model that flees. Oh yeah, so it's uh, on a six that model. So you, you can. I guess it's like a six up, feel no pain for the morale oh, phase. Oh, okay. It's that a makes six sense. up, feel no pain for the morale phase. That's cool. awesome. Yeah, that's really different. awesome. Yeah, that is really different. That's interesting. That's mm -hmm. cool. Uh, cyborg body. So that would um, mean that you would be able to double dip. So you roll your cyborg, then you get to roll this, right? What's up? So there'd be like double dipping if you had like a cyborg. So you get to roll your cyborg, 
to see if you get your five plus or uh, six plus feel no pain. No, because th that's you. That's fleeing. That's not. You don't take a wound. Oh, you just right, right, Remove right, a model. Right. So okay. this is uh, instead of removing the model, you get to take it. Okay. So it's sort of like a feel no pain for I models gotcha. removed. Yeah, <laughs> which is interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, cyborg body. Each time a model of the cyborg body loses a wound, roll a d6. On a six, that wound is not lost. You cannot make a dox tools or biker dox tools roll for this model if you do so. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Are they? They don't come with that automatically, do they? No. Uh, cyborg body. Um, no, they don't. So you have no. to upgrade. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, for every five models in this unit, one may have a cyborg body. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. weird. One for every five. Okay, not everybody. So you can basically give it like the boss <laughs> knob or something like that. Okay. If you want. So. Uh, ammo runt, blah, 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 same thing. So as the wall banner. What's so, the yeah, the wall banner. Uh, the wall banner. Units within six inches of any friendly wall banners add one to their hit rolls in the fight phase. Ooh, that's wow. cool. Plus one weapon skill. That's Awesome. Wow. That's There's really a lot awesome. Of synergy here. Yeah, especially since they've got most. A lot of them are three plus weapon skill at this point. So you mm -hmm. have two plus weapon skill. Yeah, and that's something like extra attacks level. with yeah, all, all the oh, lots of synergy. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's just a knob with him. It's just the one guy throwing him in like there. Five yep. attacks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then keep an order, and he's got the same thing—the keep an order thing—so he can uh, help to oh, keep cool. you from fleeing during that. Okay. So he's gonna. These guys are gonna have a lot of synergy with all that. That's really awesome. Knob Warbuck. Uh, war war looks uh, like it's the same thing as yep. the knob, except uh, they've just got the extra move, the mm -hmm. extra toughness, yep. and the extra wound, I believe, right? Yep. So the Daka gun, I didn't, we didn't touch on this before, 18-inch Assault 3, um, strength 5 high. strength. Yep. Uh, and uh, yeah, so the I think, thing. is it two of them? Uh, no, it's not a... It's not a uh, Warbuck is equipped with two Daka guns. Oh, two Daka so, guns. Yeah, so six okay. shots. Yeah, but you have to pay for two, I think. But okay. I don't know what the pricing of that is going mm -hmm. to be. And they've got the keep in order thing as well, which is cool. Okay. Mega knobs. Uh -huh. um, so they look like they are knobs with, uh, like the Terminator armor, basically, again. Yep. So they've got the extra wound. Mm -hmm. they got the extra save. Um, they don't have the extra toughness, mm -hmm. but they do have the, and they have one less move. So okay. all the same stuff. But they can take a combi weapon with rocket launcher. Mm -hmm. uh, they can take a combi weapon with Scorcha, which is pretty okay. cool. Um, custom shooter, kill saw, power claw, all that fun stuff. And they've got the keep in order as well, okay. which is cool. That's neat. Nifty. Yeah. The commandos. Ooh. This is what we, we heard about that before yeah. with, uh, what's his face? So their boy stat yeah. lines with your knob stat line. Yep. Um, it looks like a lot of the weapons that we've seen before. Yeah, uh, big shooter, burner, rocket launcher. So uh, sneaky gets. Now they don't get the super sneaky get. I think they just yeah. get plus, plus two, two instead of one. Plus one. Uh, whereas recovery. I think uh, what's it said was three. Three right? plus. Yeah. Uh, cutting infiltrators during deployment zone. Uh, da -da -da, so like the deep strike thing. Yeah, and he's nine inches yep. away. Um, and they just don't get the leadership uh, change, but to I mean the fear basically. Yeah. But that's cool. They're also not. Um, they're not a faction, so they're. Yep. They're, so you can take them for anyone, but if mm -hmm. I think if you want to run them with that other guy. You got to put them in, uh, yeah, which is yeah. fine. You just give them Death that skulls that or whatever thing, it was. Yeah. And then we got a That's truck. Awesome. Nice. There's a truck. Okay, so now we are five, uh, five plus, five plus, six, toughness six. So it's not terrible. Yep. Um, but uh, there wounds. we are. That ten wounds. That that's where everything changes, and you get a damage chart. Yep. So um, the attacks are start at six, uh, four plus save. Um, the strength I'm sorry, is six. The, the strength is six, and the attacks is three. So then it goes down um, at less than half. Or I'm sorry, yeah, less than half. You're at eight, five, and D three. Eight inches, five yep. strength, and D three. And then at the very bottom, one to two, six inch, four strength, one attack. That's not bad. Six no. inches move even at the bottom there, because I think most of the other ones, it's like yeah, that's like one or two, three inches maybe yeah, something like, like that. Yeah, the because yeah. It's real slow, real yeah, fast. Yeah, real slow <laughs> at the end. Yeah, so. at the end they really lose it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so pretty cool. Yeah. Um, they can have a big shooter, rocket Ooh, launcher, wrecking, wrecking ball. ball. Uh, so we have this melee strength plus one, so it becomes seven, minus one uh, AP, and then one attack. The bear can only make three attacks with this weapon each time it fights. So three which only has three attacks. Yeah. So uh, I guess that maybe they're if doing you get like the, if you have bonuses. Oh, yeah, if there's bonuses and stuff like that. Uh, Ramshackle. Um, a roll of d6 each time this model suffers damage from an attack that has damage characteristic of more than one. On a roll of a six, reduce the damage caused by the tax by one. That's awesome. So it's sort of like it hits like a, a piece of metal that falls off of it. So it doesn't really do too much damage. <laughs> it just kind of like absorbs it. Which yeah, is kind of cool. That is pretty That's awesome. really cool because I mean, most of the way that you handle vehicles now is with 
high damage oh, output weapons. Right, like and Meltas, this is, yeah, Meltas, Meltas Las multiple. Cannons, all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Doing Power like D six and whatever. Yeah, this is ignoring that. Possibly mm-hmm. ignoring it, I guess. Uh, what is it on a roll of a six? Yeah, so, so you know, it's tough. One and six. Yeah, it's tough to get it, but when it does, it can really change. But that, that, the that's works in general. That's like, true. Hey, hey, it works out. Uh, open topped. Uh, I think we know what open top does. Um, or do we? Uh, models yeah, of models the, model can attack in the shooting phase. Measure the range drawn in line of sight from any point on this model, just like before. Uh, when they do so, any restrictions or modifiers that apply to this model also apply to its passengers. For example, a passenger cannot shoot if this model has fallen back. In the same turn, cannot shoot uh, if this model is within one inches of enemies, and so on. Okay, cool. and then you've got Explorized. the usual explode, mm-hmm. um, and it's within six inches, suffers D3 mortal wounds if you do explode. Okay. So that's interesting. Honestly. It's uh, transport, uh, it can take 12. 12 orc infantry models, uh, each mega armor or jump pack model, uh, the space of two other models. Oh, so that's jump not packs bad. can hang out there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. The hot tub. Yeah, I'm liking that they're doing that kind of thing. Storm boys, speaking yep. of jump packs. Here we, so yeah, speaking of jump packs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so what do you guys have? Shit bombs. Uh, so they're at 12 inch move versus yep. the five. Yep. Uh, they have ear we go and full throttle. I think that's the same thing we saw before um, with uh, Zagstruck. Yep. Can advance and charge the same turn, but they have to roll a d6, and for each roll of one, the unit suffers a mortal wound. So, so yeah. Yeah, can dude. Yep. That's pretty cool. Um, then we've got the Def Coptas. Oh, what happened to them? I'm curious. Let's see. Uh, 14 inches. Four wounds. So four wounds, toughness five, pretty mm-hmm. good. Fourteen inch move. Um, That's got, really interesting to see that f- uh, four wounds on this guy. Yeah, because uh, they used to be two, but then they're now on uh, uh, bikes, so they would have gone up to three, but they gave them an extra one. Yeah, and you, it's uh, unit contains one, but it can have up to five total, oh, okay. which is pretty cool. Interesting. Yep. So, um, so they've got uh, copter, copter rockets, rockets, what? Which That's, are basically the okay. rockets with uh, three damage instead of D three, which is pretty and cool. Assault, assault two, two mm-hmm. which is nice. So that means they can they can advance and shoot. Yeah. So they've got a movement of fourteen, uh-huh. um, and they've got turbo boost, which is they move six inches okay. automatically. They don't have to roll. So you've got they move twenty inches so, and then can fire their copter rocket rockets at minus one. So they're hitting on sixes with it at that point, okay. but. They've moved 20 inches, so then they have a threat range with those rockets of 40 of uh, yeah 44 inches. Nice. That's crazy. Yeah. So what's the uh, um, uh, vehicles and moving and shooting? Do vehicles, if they move, they still yep. have minus one? Unless they have a special rule that says so. Like uh, okay. Land Raiders have uh, Power of the Machine Spirit, yeah. which says they, they ignore that effect. Okay. Yeah. So, so. The, the bonus here is that they have Assault, so they don't have to worry about it. No, well, assault is oh, minus okay. one. If you, if uh, so, it would be minus two. If it if, he, if he if he does if they don't advance, they fire regular, uh-huh. um, because they're they're not heavy. They're fine. They can they're, gotcha. they're good to go. But if they advance, then they can fire them. If they were heavy, they couldn't fire. Them. Okay. Uh, you can't fire anything unless it's assault. If you advance. Oh, I got gotcha. And then you when you do fire the assault weapon when you've advanced, it's mm-hmm. at minus one. Okay. So it's sort of like heavy weapons. If you move, mm-hmm. it's at minus one. Yeah. Assault weapons. If you advance, it's at minus one. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So like I said, you can move like you can move uh, twenty inches and then fire those at minus one. So mm, okay. Oh, turbo boost. So it gets automatic yep. six inches versus the automatic nine. six inches. That's why I'm six. saying like it's like you can go yeah. 12, 12, uh, 20 inches movement, mm-hmm. which is pretty brutal. Okay. So, so scouting ahead um, during deployment, you can set up a unit of death copters behind enemy lines instead of placing it on the battlefield. At the end of your movement phase, the death copter can swoop around to ambush the foe. Set this up anywhere on the battlefield that is more than nine inches away from the enemy models and within 14 inches of a battlefield edge. Pretty cool. Oh, interesting. Yeah, pretty cool. Big bomb. What does that do? Uh, Def Copta equipped with a big bomb can drop it as it flies over enemy units in its movement phase. After Def Copta has moved, pick one enemy unit that it flew over, then roll a d6 for each model in the enemy unit, up to a maximum of five dice. For each roll of five plus, the target unit suffers one mortal wound, and wow. it can only do this once per battle. Pretty brutal. That's yeah. awesome. So okay. he just gets like some uh, possible up to five uh, mortal wounds being dropped onto a mo- onto a unit as it just flies over. So it's uh-huh. like doing this usual movement phase, but it shot over a unit and boom, <laughs> once, per, per, once per game you can uh, oh, wow. drop that on it, which is pretty cool. Jacket. So it's not as good against, uh, that's probably bitter against uh, like Terminators, things like that, mm-hmm. that have multiple, multiple wound uh, units that oh, have okay. like big things that are going to okay. go through those kind of heavy armor yeah. because they can't 
armor and invul saves aren't going to help you with that. Mm -hmm. But it's not going to be as good against characters because you're only going to get that one die oh, versus gotcha. like a unit that would have mm -hmm. up to five dice. I gotcha. So. Um, and I found it interesting because I think like that rule is pretty like this. Uh, the way that works is pretty consistent with a lot of flyers right now yes. with the bombs. Yes. So I think like probably later on, like initially, this is the way it works. Then maybe later on they'll adjust it. Yeah. But, I think um, it sounds good. It works. Yeah, well. It's a lot more powerful than I yeah. think it was before. Yeah. Whereas before, it's just like I mean, the, the strength was usually five yeah. or whatever for a lot you of bombs. You scatter a and blast, it was, and it's yeah, like all that fun. So this is cool. It's really potent. Yeah. I like it. Uh, Daka Jet. Yes. Um, so we have a damage chart. Um, yeah. It is uh, twelve see, wounds. Cool. Yeah. That's brutal. So more than <laughs> more than a truck. Yep. Um, and we're at uh, 20 to 60, 20 to 40, and 20 to 25. Yeah. Um, nice. So it's really uh, fast. Ballistic skill, 5 plus, 6 plus, 6 plus. Uh, so it affects the shooting, barely, yeah. but it does. Yep. Um, the attacks, 3, D3, 1. You know, I think like with this chart, for what jets do, it, it it's not a big deal other than the move characteristic. That's the one that's the zinger. Um, I mean, later on, of course, like getting a 6 plus to hit is lame. Yeah, but, um, yeah. It's... Yeah, that's okay. So he's got the Super Shooter, which is 36 inch range, Assault 3, Strength 6, um, AP minus 1, Damage 1. Not bad, that's pretty mm -hmm. cool. Um, but it's uh, it's also got Airborne, which means it can't charge, um, and it can only be charged by units that can fly, which is actually interesting. A lot of jump pack units have fly. So yeah, you've got like right. Assault Marines now can mm -hmm. jump up onto the wings of this oh, thing. Oh, interesting. To attack it, which is kind of cool. Uh -huh. um, and it. Um, and in the fight phase, by and it can only uh, be attacked in the fight phase by units that can fly. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, hard to hit. Your opponent must subtract one from its rolls to attack this target. This model uh, in the shooting phase, because that's to represent mm -hmm. that it's the flying rule. So it's no longer hitting on sixes, but you're um, at least still minus one to hit, which is interesting. Yeah. Supersonic. Each time this model moves, first pivot up to ninety degrees. So the usual flyer rules at that mm -hmm. point because of that. And yeah, Daka, I think Daka, you're going to find like most flyers are going to have yes, exactly. Actually, that and crash and burn, but Daka, yes. uh, that one. Yes, Daka, Daka, Daka. If a Daka, tar uh, if a Daka jet targets the same unit with all of its uh, super shooters, you can add one to all of those hit rolls. Nice. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. So you're hitting so, on uh, generally hitting on fours. Yeah. So it's equipped with four super shooters, and you can take, and you two can take more. an additional <laughs> uh, up to additional two more. Oh, okay. So, but you would have to pay for all of those. Yeah. So you could you'd have to pay for six super cool. shooters. But that's uh, cool. So we're looking at eighteen shots. Yeah. Potentially. Brutal. Mm -hmm. Brutal. 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 So. All right. Um, Burn Obama looks yes. like the same stat line. Yep. Um, except we are looking at uh, it's a twenty to fifty versus twenty to sixty and twenty to thirty and twenty to twenty five. So the first two are a little bit slower, but the Daka yeah. Jet was supposed to be the the fast one. The anyway. fast one. Yep. So this one has airborne, mm -hmm. um, has hard to hit, and yep. has supersonic. Yep. Um, it also usual stuff doesn't have crash and burn. Mm -hmm. Interestingly enough. Um, and it doesn't have Daka Daka. Wow, I've seen most flyers, uh, like in the Space Marine Codex, that's the one Oh, they just have Explosive Demise, though. Oh, this model okay. reduced to zero wounds. Roll a D6 before removing it from the battlefield on a four plus. It cra Oh, instead of a six plus, it's a oh, four plus. Oh, okay, so um, it's clone to explode. So it's, yeah, because it's full of bombs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. On a four plus, it crashes and explodes, and each uh, unit within six inches suffers three mortal wounds. Mm. So not D3, three mortal wounds, because that wow. thing is going up oh, in yeah. flames. So we have the Scorcher Missiles, uh, D6 hits, uh, Strength 5, AP negative 1, 1. Uh, units attacked by this weapon do not gain any bonuses to their saving throws for being in cover. Um, and I think it was an ignore cover weapon before, so that's consistent. Yep. Uh, super shooter, then we have Burner Bomb. Uh, see Burner Bomb below. Ooh, yeah. all right, what does Burner Bomb do? Burner Bombs! A Burner Bomber uh, can drop the Burner Bomb as it flies over enemy units in its movement phase. After the Burner Bomb is uh, moved, pick the enemy unit that it flew over and roll a D6 for each model in that unit, up to a maximum of 10 dice, so a little more than uh, than the, the, the big bomb here. Mm -hmm. That's only a maximum of five dice, so you can have up to 10 dice for this one. Add one to the dice rolls if the enemy unit is infantry. Oh, that's interesting. Oh. For each roll of five plus, the unit uh, being bombed suffers a mortal wound. So on a four, four plus, plus yeah. the infantry. So you've got up to wow. ten. Half, uh, on average, uh -huh. you're looking at, if you if you hit a squad of ten, you're looking at doing, on average, five mortal wounds from okay. each burner burn bomb. And you can have up to two burner bombs, um, equip it with two burner bombs each. So that's pretty, that's pretty yeah. cool. That's tight. Yeah, that could be really, really brutal. <laughs> Oh, racing squads. Yeah, uh, the Blitz Obama. Obama. 
uh, looks like it's the same stat line. It has the same damage chart as the the other bomber. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, okay, so just re jumping across real quick, Waz Bomber goes back to the Daka jet, but uh, for speed. Yep. But okay, so uh, we the have the difference here is the boom bomb. Oh, okay, and we have to look at that one. Yep. So. Um, oh, it's basically the same thing as the uh, as the burner bomb, except mm -hmm. this one gets plus one. Uh, all right, uh, roll a oh, d6 for each model in the unit creatures. to a max of 10 dice. Roll three dice instead for each vehicle or monster in the unit. Okay. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's yeah. your tank hunter. Yeah, basically. And yeah. it's wounding on a 4 plus instead of Yeah, a, for each roll of 4 plus instead of the 5 plus. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, but you don't get the bonus for choosing specifically. Like the other one had oh, okay, a plus right. one uh, to the rolls for, the for infantry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you just get more attacks. Um, so I guess that automatically gives them the plus one. You don't have to worry about it. Anything mm -hmm. being specific, which is kind of cool. Yeah, that was nice. Um, got Grot Gunna. When this Blitz Bomber attacks with its big shooter, add one to its hit rolls. Oh, that's cool. Oh, okay. Yep. And also got all the usual stuff there. And it's got okay. Crash and Burn instead of the uh, oh, the okay. Fiery Demise. <laughs> so, so Waz Bomber blasts a jet. Uh, this is your mech jet. Mm -hmm. Um and let's see, we have the smash a gun. Um, so it's equipped with the uh, Wasbaba Mega Cannon, a, a smash a gun, and a stick bomb. Uh, flinga. Flinga. Um, so smash a gun, uh, 36 inch range, heavy one, strength, uh, asterisk, minus four AP, that's pretty solid. Yep. And a D6 wounds. Yep. Uh, instead of making a wound roll for this weapon, roll 2D6. If the result is equal to or greater than the target's toughness, the attack successfully wounds. Wow. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah, so your average is seven, so that's yeah. like a character assassin or yeah. uh, it, more than likely you're trying to go for vehicles. It, yeah. Um, a stick bomb flinga, uh, 12 inch assault 2d6, uh, strength three, da zero, and one damage. Uh, super shooter, I've seen that before, teleported mega blaster, 24 inch range, assault d3, strength eight, minus two AP, and one. Model suffers any unsaved wounds from this weapon and is not slain, roll a d6 at the end of the phase. If the result is greater than that uh, model's wound characteristic, it is slain. Oh, gruesome. Yeah. And slain is awesome, it's just you're moving from the table. <laughs> no yeah. matter how many wounds. It's like instant kill. Wow. Um, gosh, that could be really nasty. Does it, would that affect Let's see, um, that could be a vehicle, right? Suffers any unsaved wounds? A model from? suffers unsaved wounds from this weapon, is not slain. Yep, interesting. So you can take off a model, you can take off a, yeah. Wow, okay. that's crazy. Okay. Um, all right, but I mean, it's, you're not taking off a knight <laughs> this train unless yeah. it's wounded really badly. Um, oh yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, it has to be wounded pretty bad at that point. <laughs> so was Bob, um, Although it's, it's wounds characteristic. So I don't oh, know if it's how many has I left. Gotcha. I think it's it's whatever its characteristic okay. is. So you're, so I mean, it's gonna be. A, it could be. A, yeah. You can be a a, a a character killer. Yeah, not you know? a super character, but a yeah. character. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, not a Gazgol Thraka, <laughs> but um, yeah, some of the other rules. Was bomb mega cannon, thirty six inch range, heavy D three, strength eight minus three, and D three. If you roll one or more hits of a one, the bearer suffers a mortal wound after all of its weapon shots have been resolved. So there's your plasma cannon. Yep. Um, Airborne, hard hit, supersonic, mech brain, enhanced weapon sights. A was bomb da blast a jet uh, does not suffer the penalty to hit. Uh, rolls for moving and firing heavy weapons. In addition, uh, this model can choose a single enemy unit uh, each fire each shooting phase and one of its hit rolls for the attack made against the. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Add one to all hit rolls for attacks made against the unit with this model smash again. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So you're getting plus one, and you're not suffering the the move uh, penalty to shooting uh, heavy weapons because you know he's got that heavy weapon that makes a big difference for these the was bomb mm -hmm. the was bomb mega cannon and also for the uh, smash gun might not so. be a looker but he's a thinker yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> all right so we got here war bikers okay, so we're into the fast yep war bikers uh, look like boys on bikes so they've yeah. got the extra okay. uh, toughness extra move uh -huh. uh, extra wound um, same thing with the boss four knob up save. four up save which is nice mm -hmm. Um, and they've got the usual stuff going on there, and they don't have any extra special rules. So basically, it's just boys on bikes. Cool. <laughs> or not on bike as well. It sounds yeah. like a porno. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, war tracks. So 12 inch move. So yep. a little bit slower than the bike. <laughs> yep. Weapon skill 3 plus, ballistic skill 5 plus, uh, strength 4, toughness 5, wound 6. So we're not That's at cool. vehicle level, like big yeah. you know, damage chart level. Um, three or four attacks. So this really sounds more like a, uh, a land speeder. A dude. Well, yeah, that too. Yeah. But it also sounds more like a dude than it does a vehicle, even though it's denoted as a vehicle. Yeah. 
Um, okay, so a uh, single model, I uh, can include it up to two more, so total three. Or up to four uh, additional, too. Okay. So up to five total. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Yeah. Um, let's see, big shooters, rockets, same, same. Uh, outriders, during deployment, uh, you could set up a unit of war tracks or on the enemy's flanks to set a place to get on the battlefield. Uh, at the end of any of your movement phases, uh, the war tracks can race in to the encircle, to encircle the foe, set them up so that each model is touching a battlefield edge and is more than nine inches away from enemy models. Oh, so they so. have to touch a uh, battlefield edge. So mm -hmm. that's interesting. So yeah. still need to be nine inches away, but uh -huh. you, can, you have to touch a, battle, a battlefield edge. So this is, this is kind of going back to outflank. I mean, it just sounds yeah. like the like old school outflank. Yeah, exactly. But That's you don't get to move at that point. Uh huh. So oh, you just, yeah. uh, you're just touching the edge, and you have to be more than nine inches away. So, um, <laughs> like but you get to choose. So yeah. you don't have you don't have the sure. you know the the to do it. unknown uh, what's it called the random. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, that's true. That yeah, up, which is interesting. And I think like a lot of that's like really nice in this game. Taking away a lot of that. Yeah. There's I guess there's more random in the damage that it does, but less random in like your ability to use your models mm -hmm. like you know they took yeah. away like the the deep strike mishaps and oh, all of yeah. that stuff where it's like you know because of bad rolls you never get to use that unit <laughs> you know or the reserves right. the fact that you don't don't have to roll for them i would come never in use want. deep strike in the past yeah. because you didn't it know dangerous. when it was going to show up yep. never knew it was going to show up where and it was going to show up and when it comes you know you roll a deep strike mishap and just you know uh -huh. bad things happen it's like okay great that unit Never got to get used on the table. Great. Oh, yeah. Perfect. But no longer that anymore, which is nice. And I like that. So Scorches, looks like they're pretty much the same. Um, yep. and, and that's what they yep, were. Yep, they're war tracks. So 8-inch uh, range, Assault D6, um, Strength 5, minus 1. And it automatically one. hits. Yep. So that's pretty cool. That's good. Yeah, it's like a flamer. War Buggies. Um, so this one is uh, a little bit faster. Yep. Uh, it has wheels versus tracks. One less um, wound. And yeah. Oh, interesting. Yep. Um, otherwise, it's otherwise the same. Otherwise, it's there. the same. Yep. Uh, and it looks like uh, Big Shooters, Rockets, Outriders. So we have that. Yep. The same thing, basically, except a yeah. uh, little bit more move, one less wound, and mm -hmm. uh, different kind of weapons, yeah, which is Trading things out. Yeah. Seems good. All right. Big guns. Holy Big cow. Guns. This one's going to be crazy. Oh, yep. no. The mech guns is the crazy one. Yeah. So this one is. Uh, one big gun accompanied by two grot gunners. You can have, up, uh, you can include up to five additional big guns. Mm, so that's six. pretty good. Up to six. Nice. Yep. So they've got the cannon, um, which is uh, it's got a choice between frag and shell. Both mm -hmm. thirty-six inches. Uh, frag is heavy D six, heavy one for the shell. Strength four, strength eight. Yeah. Um, AP zero, AP minus two. Damage one, damage D six. Mm. So it's like uh, frag and crack, basically. Yeah. Out there, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And then you've got a lava. You can also choose because I think you can uh, big gun is equipped with a cannon, a lava, or a zap gun. Okay. So the lava is uh, forty eight inches, heavy D six, strength five, AP zero, one wound. This weapon can target units that are not visible to the bearer. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. So you can just stick them in the back lines behind a building and just mm -hmm. be like boop 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 shooting <laughs> off. Old school Forty eight inches. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. Um, okay. And you don't have to worry about uh, cover because the model has to be in cover. Like has to, oh, okay. all, all the models in the unit have to be in cover uh -huh. to get fully in cover in order to get the bonus. So uh -huh. even if you could see them clearly or can't see them at all, it doesn't change what kind of cover save that they're or uh, cover bonus that they're. Oh, gonna okay, get. interesting. So, yeah, I guess what's also kind of neat too about this is like you're not rolling for scatter again. So it's. Yep. Although I guess you're going off ballista skill at this point, right? So. Yeah. You still have to roll for that. Yes. Um, which is four plus, not bad. Mm -hmm. So, because um, they got grot gunners. Yeah. So. Uh, then you got the zap gun, which is he thirty-six inches, heavy one, uh, strength two d six, AP minus three, damage three. Uh, before firing the weapon, um, you know the same thing. Oh, okay. It's, uh, yeah, it's a shock attack. Yeah. Gun, but it'll and if it's the result is eleven plus for the uh, for the strength, then you do not make a wound. Uh, you do not make a wound roll. Instead, the attack hits and causes three mortal wounds. Okay. So, those, so you're not just removing them. So it's a baby shock attack gun. Yes. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's pretty cool. Grot uh, crew. Grot crew. Unit of big guns. And its accompanying grot gunners must be deployed with each model within three inches of at least one another model from their unit. From that point on, each big gun and each two model group of grot gunners acts as a single unit. So they're completely independent, which is interesting. Yeah. Uh, but Grot Gunners can only be targeted in the shooting phase if they are the closest enemy units, so sort of like characters. Mm. Um, so if they're behind the gun, you have to shoot the gun. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, it's a big difference between toughness five and toughness two. <laughs> and three wounds versus one. Uh -huh. um, artillery, a big gun, can only fire its ranged weapons if friendly clan grot gunner unit is within three inches. Single grot gunner cannot operate multiple big guns in this way in a single turn. If all the grot gunners within six inches of the gun are slain, it immediately shuts down and is removed from play. So similar thing that they okay. had right there, yeah. except it's uh, the, those grot gunner units are independent and they can only operate the guns. So that's interesting. So if you start, if you can get an outflanking unit around the back and shoot up all those uh, those units of, of, of grot gunners, so, those those guns go away. Okay, that's interesting. I mean, because now the units, are, it, it's part of the unit though, right? Nope, Cause it says that's what it says here. Grots. Yeah, but it says here, oh, when I you place you. them there, they become independent units. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, each gun is independent, okay. each two-man grot gunner unit is independent. Okay, so. gotcha. Yeah. So uh, I think I think they did a similar thing with the um, tech marine? thunder fire. Yeah, the tech oh, okay. marine and the thunder fire cannon. They have to mm. be deployed together, but then they're independent. So they can walk so, away from it. Yeah. Um, or you may. I don't know if you have to shoot. I didn't. I haven't looked into that because my mm. archangels don't have access. To <laughs> <it>. <laughs> Why bother? Yeah. So uh, mech guns. It looks like our stat line is the same. Yep. Um, you can also take up to five of them, mm -hmm. uh, and accompanied by a bunch of uh, grats. Um, bubble checker, 36 inch range, heavy, all right, a bunch of asterisks. Yep. Roll four dice for each of, uh, each time you fire this weapon, then take it in turns with your opponent, starting with you, to allocate one value at a time to its strength, AP, damage, and number of attacks. Holy cow, note that the dice assigned uh, to AP is a negative number. Uh, oh man, so a three, three is assigned as a negative three. Wow. Um, that's so that's bananas. crazy. Yeah. The thing and is, so then when you roll those, you have to decide, when you look at the dice, you, you know, if you have like a, a six, a one, a six, and a two, when you put that there, yeah. you're like, well, what's more important, having the strength be six right. or have the but AP you, be six? You or and the your type? opponent yeah. going back and forth. So, so you look at that and your first thought is like, well, I want to make sure that I put down the six for something mm -hmm. interesting. But you may look at it and go, you know what? I want to make sure that... You know, to me, it's like if you're looking and you're shooting at a unit that doesn't have a lot of wounds, you know, if it's like one wound units that you're shooting at, you yeah. can be like, you know what? I'm going to place that one, starting with me, I'm going to place that one on damage because I don't need any more than one damage on each of these hits because oh, yeah. all of those models only have one wound. Uh -huh. So now your opponent's left with the other ones and you can decide, as opposed to being able to be like, oh, you only got one shot, he has to be like, well, you use the one, I have another choice between two sixes and a two. I'm yeah. going to put the two somewhere, but you Strength at least two. saved yourself. Yeah, yeah, you at least saved yourself from being like, you know, one shot with D6 wounds and you're shooting into like a squad of guardsmen. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's interesting because this becomes like, just this becomes a whole sub game. Yeah, a little, <laughs> little mental game there, which is interesting. Yeah. So, uh, oh, then you've got the custom mega cannon, heavy D6, uh, strength eight, AP minus three, D3. If you roll one or more hit rolls of one for this weapon, the bearer suffers a mortal mm. wound after all of this weapon's shots have been resolved. It's a heavy plasma so, cannon. Yeah, yeah, it's a plasma cannon, and uh, they suffer one for if you have any rolls of one on those D6. So uh -huh. I would quickly lose them if I was rolling my custom <laughs> mega cannons. Smash again, 36 inches, so they're all 36. Heavy one, asterisk, negative four, oh, that's decent, and 36, uh, or I'm sorry, D6. D6. Instead of making a wound roll for this weapon, roll 2d6. If the result is equal to or greater than the target's toughness, the attack successfully That's wounds. pretty cool. Yeah, we saw that uh, <laughs> mechanic earlier, which is interesting. Yeah, so. so it's going to be good against uh, characters and, mm -hmm. and infantry and, t and and stuff like that, but not so good uh -huh. against like big, um, like big tanks and things like that. Yeah, I mean, so. you're still losing d6 wounds, but... Well, but you won't wound, you won't wound it. Oh, Because right. it's, uh, yeah, all the, you have to do T6, and yeah, the result is true. equal to or greater than the target's toughness. Well, I guess the toughness, toughness 12, but yeah. you can't, so you can't wound a land raider. Yeah, we're not talking wound. Can't wound. I think before it was the wound characteristic is what we were looking at, so. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. The, but this one is like the toughness, so. Yeah. Oh, the toughness. Oh, yeah, toughness yeah, isn't yeah. High. Toughness isn't even I mean, as high. <laughs> You're right, so I guess you can do this stuff. Oh, yeah, that could be brutal. You're right. Uh, um, track the cannon. Uh, Thirty-six inch heavy one, strength eight, minus two, and D three. So it's like a it's like a rocket. This weapon's damage increases to D six against units so that can fly. The tractor cannon destroys a vehicle that can fly. The model automatically crashes and burns, or its equivalent. Do not roll a dice. Ooh. Wow, that's all so right. So yeah, so if you reduce a flyer down to zero, uh -huh. it blows up regardless, wow. which is kind of interesting. <laughs> also, if you notice... Oh my gosh, if, could you do that to a jump infantry? <laughs> yep. Automatically crash and well, burn. yeah, they're not going to crash and burn because it's not a vehicle, Ooh. but it will uh, oh, it will be doing right, D6 right. wounds. Yeah, that's right. So all of those Tau oh, suits, wow. they yeah, all have fly. Yeah. So all of a sudden you're shooting, at, yeah, you're shooting at that Riptide, mm -hmm. you're doing D6 wounds to it. So 
Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So. All right. So the rest is the yeah. same. Yeah, the crack crew the is the same news. stuff. It's all doing that stuff. Battle wagon. Battle wagon. It's it's German. Battle, Battle wagon. wagon. Yes. <laughs> Goffs. <laughs> all right. So we've got um, yeah, uh, toughness seven, sixteen wounds. So this is like a land raider going on here, which cool. is pretty brutal. Um, yep. If you get down to uh, eight to sixteen, it's moving twelve. It's got strength eight, six attacks. That's a lot. And it's got a weapon skill of five. A lot of uh, like the land raiders' weapon skill is six. six a lot yeah. of those other ones are six. So the battle wagon is uh, is hitting a bit better. Yeah, it's probably all the cool. aggression hanging off. Yeah, there. exactly. <laughs> um, you got strength six, strength four as it goes down. Uh, uh, attack six, attack d six, and attack d three mm -hmm. as it goes down to there. Oh, okay. Um, so uh, shoot a cannon, kill cannon. Ooh, kill cannon. We haven't seen that before. Heavy d six, strength seven, AP minus two, damage two. So it's like a plasma okay. cannon without. Um, mm. Without the mm. ability to bump it up, uh, he's got uh, access to Labas, which we went over before, which mm -hmm. is interesting. Rocket launcher, zap guns, Ooh, death, death roller. roller. So what is this? Read the things. All right, it's a melee weapon. Strength user, which is uh, depends upon what its uh, strength is. Eight, eight, six, to, four. eight to four. Um, AP minus two, uh, one damage. Add three to hit rolls made for this weapon. Add three to Whoa. hit rolls made with this weapon. What? So suddenly he's now at ballistic skill two, or weapon skill two, wow. when he's in, in the fight subphase, which is awesome. <laughs> That's brutal. Death roll is mm -hmm. our back. <laughs> uh, then you got the grab and claw, which is strength user AP minus three. Uh, D3 damage. The bear can only make a single attack with this weapon each time it fights. Okay. Um, so you can do the one grab and claw, and then you can do as many death rollers as you want with the rest of them. Uh -huh. And the wrecking ball, uh, strength plus one, or yeah, strength plus one, AP minus one, one damage. Bear can only make three attacks with this weapon each time it fights. Okay. So you can throw all your different weapon, all your different yeah. attacks that you choose between all those different it's weapons. Which is kind of interesting. Yeah, exactly. So, um, it's got the same explodes ro roll, art case, battle wagon with an art case, has a toughness characteristic of eight, but loses the open topped ability. Oh, so it's cool, you can just like basically yeah. put a top on it, which is cool. Okay. Um, mobile fortress, battle wagon ignores the penalty for moving and firing heavy weapons, so nice. that's pretty cool. And usually it would be open topped unless mm -hmm. you have the okay. art case on it. I read that before, yeah. so that's good. So, and it can have, transport 20 orc infantry models, it can also track... Uh, do mega armor and yeah. jump packs. Kind of so, level. yeah. Oh, oh and a but a mega but a battle wagon equipped with a kill cannon can only transport twelve models instead okay. of the twenty. Right. So you're taking a little bit thing, but having the big guns on it. Death Druid. Oh yeah. Um, so we're at six move. Uh, weapon skill three. Ballistic skill five. Strength five. Toughness seven. Oof. So it's a little bit less nice. than a uh, regular uh, uh, space marine dread. Um, t or eight wounds, I believe. No, maybe it's, it's the same. No, it's the same. It looks similar. Um, uh, two attacks. So there we go. We're a little bit less. Yeah. Um, save three plus. So uh, you can have one additional death dread or two for an extra power uh, level. Yeah. So up to um, three death dreads per unit, which is pretty cool. So we have big shooter custom mega blaster, um, which we've seen a few times. Uh, rocket scorcher dread claw. Uh, strength times two. Uh, th minus three APs, three damage. Each time the bearer fights, it can make one additional attack with each dread claw. It is equipped with. So this oh, is an so interesting. You can give it two dread claws. Yeah. So this is an interesting way of going around the whole changing the attack characteristic. Yep. I think. So this is. So I think we're sitting at um, one of the uh, two big shooters and two dread claws. So um, you're basically four attacks base. So there, you're like yeah. a yes. Yeah, so you're ba back up to that. Uh, mm -hmm. So whatever it is. Dread mob unit of uh, these guys must be deployed as a single group, uh, with each model within six inches of at least one other model from this unit. From that point on, they act as a single unit. Um, explodes. So yeah, it just explodes. Yeah. Um, oh, you can actually add an extra. Any model can replace any of its big shooters with a rocket launcher, custom mega blaster, or scorcher, or dread claw. So, so if you six. add, you can add up to um, yeah an additional two dread claws. You can have six attacks. Mm -hmm. with all this. That's pretty okay. cool. Uh, kill cans. Uh, we are let's see, f uh, five up. So weapon skill not so great. Uh, ballista skill four plus. That's a little bit better. Mm -hmm. um, strength five. So uh, it's the same. Um, toughness uh, five. So not so great. Five wounds. Five so wounds. That's okay. Uh, three attacks. Leadership six, which is interesting. It's the yep higher attacks, um, but he probably doesn't have the. Uh, so this guy, you could have two additional at that power level, or five additional. Uh, so you yep. have up to six. A squad of six. Uh, big shooter Grotzuka, mm -hmm. eighteen inch, heavy two D three, a strength six, as zero and one. 
Uh, custom Mega Blast, we've seen that before. Can Claw, okay, so what does this do? So strength plus three, so now we're up to eight yep. uh, versus 10. Um, we're at minus three AP, that's the same. Mm -hmm. And then uh, three damage, so I think it's... Same thing, except you don't get the extra attack for it. Yeah, so it's just no. built into the profile, yep. and you're at minus two strength. But, yep. you know, eight's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, war gear options, uh, all that stuff. Uh, oh, custom. actually, while a unit of kill cans contains three or more models, add one to their attacks characteristic. Oh, interesting. So that's okay. really cool. That's probably going back to that, um, what is it, uh, strength and numbers or whatever they had, ferocity and numbers that Gretchen had. Yeah. So where they get hit better. So. Yeah. Oh, and the dread mob is a similar thing to the, to the guns where... You deploy them within six mm -hmm. inches as a unit, but then after that, they're independent and they oh, just okay. run off and do their own things. So that's interesting. So yeah, kind of cool. Mm -hmm. All right, Morkanot, Gorkanot. So we got going on here: strength eight, toughness eight, eighteen wounds. Oh a, um, baby! And you're not going to blow them up with just one lucky last cannon oh, shot anymore. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, but curse you. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it's uh, weapon skill goes uh, from three to four to five. Attacks go from four to three to two. Uh, move goes from eight to six to four as its wounds go down. Um, mm -hmm. What's he got? Anything? He's got most of the same thing. He's got the the claw of Gork or possibly Mork. Um, <laughs> and I imagine he has the claw of Gork or possibly Mork as well. Yeah. Not, so, um, so it's got uh, it can has the two different profiles and it can choose one. Uh, when it's attacking with this weapon, so you either have Crush, which is uh, Strength times 2, AP minus 4, D6 damage, or Smash, which is Strength User, AP minus 2, D, uh, 2 damage, take 3 hit rolls for each attack made with this weapon instead of 1. Wow. wow. So if you do that, you've got, if at full strength, he's got 4 attacks. You can have 12 attacks Dang. at Strength User, which is still Strength 8. Yeah. Um, you know, so you're wounding most anything except for bigger vehicles on threes at least, uh -huh. if not twos, yeah. if you're going against like regular um, like infantry. Mm -hmm. I mean the the AP is the AP is but less. That's true, but you're, you're turning yeah, you're turning power armor into five ups mm -hmm. already at that point, point. Um, and you're doing two damage each, so that's still pretty cool. But you're going to get twelve attacks, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. You know. That's so, bananas. Yeah, so that's a pretty good trade-off there. You can make that choice. Yeah, I guess, um, so. I mean, I guess like in a way, you have tw you're twice as likely to save, but you're three times as likely to wound. So numerically, yeah, <laughs> figure out what you got to do. You yeah. know, when it comes down to it. Okay, um, so here we go. We know that one. Explodes. We know that one. Custom force field. We've seen that before. Big and stompy. What does that do? Uh, this model can fall back in your movement phase and still shoot and or charge during its turn. Oh wow! In addition, it can move and fire heavy weapons without suffering the penalty for its hit rolls. This model only gains a bonus to its saving throws for being in cover. At least half of the models obscured from the fire. Mm. Um, so it's got to be in cover because that's yeah. still the thing. It's got to be completely in cover, but it also has to be obscured by fifty percent. So um, yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty crazy. Because nice. I guess they're giant and, and in charge there. <laughs> but that's pretty awesome. So you can, if you've got all those shooty things, and someone like got onto you, you could step back, shoot them, and then charge back in. So you don't have to choose between. It's like, like with run. fly, yeah, and with yeah, yes, because with fly, um, you can actually move and shoot, mm -hmm. but you can't charge. Okay. So at that point, you would have to choose. It's like, well, this guy's really good at close combat. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe I'll just give up on my shooting phase so that I can do this. It's like, no, you've got the option now to just like step back more than one inch, yeah. shoot him up, then charge back into him, uh -huh. which is I guess beautiful. When you're a towering weapons platform. Yeah, <laughs> it makes sense. Yeah. So Gorgonaut looks like it's relatively the same. I think the only thing I'm seeing different here is the attacks profile. So as it goes down, instead of going from four three two, it's six five four. Okay. Um, so if we thought it had a lot of attacks before, yeah, because it's got the same abilities there. Yeah. So six attacks times so, three, so you're looking at eighteen attacks. Mm -hmm. That's, That's brutal. Yeah. Um, so then it has a different weapon. We do have the Deathstorm Mega Shooter. Uh, 36 inch range, heavy 3d6, strength 6, minus 1, and 1. Nice. Um, so nothing, I mean, it's, it's a lot of yeah. shots. This looks like it's fancy. more of a heavy weapons platform mm -hmm. um, that also does well in close combat. Yeah. And this looks like a True close killer. combat killer 
but also has the ability to shoot. Yeah. <laughs> Which kind of works with the Gork and Mork, yeah. where it's like, you know... Is it more you know, cunning or brutal? Yeah, or brutal cunning, cut- yeah, cunning yet brutal, but also brutal yet cunning, you know? <laughs> it's like they can both do both, but one does one probably a little bit better than the other. So, so we got the Ludas. Yep. Um, so we have, uh, it looks like it's the regular boy profile. Yep. Uh, and we're, okay, the Def Gun, 48 inch range, heavy D3. So this is the same that we've seen in the past. Uh, strength 7, minus 1 AP, and 2 damage. I think yep. it's kind of cool, because yep. like before it was an auto cannon. It yep. had variable uh, like rates of fire. Um, but it's still, I mean, you're doing da- you're, you're doing 2 damage, so it's a little bit tougher. Yeah, it's um, like a plasma cannon. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so, I mean, not quite the AP of it. Of oh, the, the that's plasma, true. But, uh, when it, it fires a st- uh, roll, uh, so you roll once for everybody. Um, cool. For their D3. So, Slug so Choppa, Kill Saw, all that stuff, Mechaniac. So, it's yep. pretty basic. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. Watch, and repeat. Ludas are cool. How many wounds do they have? Uh, just one. They've got one wound. Yeah. So, uh, so Quirk uh, for Mini Wargaming is still not right in 8th edition. Oh. <laughs> so. Um, pretty funny. This is uh, an ongoing joke. Yeah, it's an ongoing. He was he was having two wound ludas for a long time. So oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So we got the flash gits. Yeah. Uh, yep. We got the flash gits here. Um, they've got a flash git, a captain, and ammo runt that you can have. The captain is basically like their their uh-huh. their their whatever sergeant Dubro. Okay. And they are. It's a knob uh, stat line yep. for the most part. Knob stat line going on there, which is pretty cool. And it looks like the captain isn't. He looks like he's the same. He's just. A captain, like he's yep. a character. Yeah, most of them they usually give him plus one stuff, but I guess the captain's just the same here. Okay. Um, yep. So they got the snaz gun. What does that do? Snaz gun is twenty four inch range, heavy three, strength five, AP minus two, one damage. Okay. So not bad. That's right. Yeah. Um, and the usual stuff, but uh, crazy uh, gun, crazy show offs. After this unit has shot in the shooting phase, roll a d six on a six. All models in the unit must immediately shoot again, but can only target the nearest enemy unit. Mm. So that's kind of cool. It's yeah. like it's, you can choose one that's further away from you, and then if you roll that six, you get to shoot the one that's close to you as well. <laughs> so oh, I just noticed that their ballistic skill four. Yeah, well, I know in the past they had the um, there was a piece of war gear that gave them plus one. Yeah, as long as they stayed still to get find us, so they just worked that into the profile. That's pretty right. cool. Yeah, yeah, and it's cool. uh, and if they stay still, they get the plus one because otherwise, if they move, they still take the minus one because it's a heavy. Oh. So it's still a similar okay. mechanic to what you're saying. Yeah. But um, so with the heavy, if you stand still, you get a plus one, or is it just no? That you with don't heavy, get a minus it's one? if you move, you have a minus right. one. Okay. So if they're staying still, they they shoot at their full, right. which is okay. the four plus. So they're getting but another they, one. Yeah, exactly. So if they move, they're going to be at five plus, which is a regular okay. boy is shooting at that. Yeah. So, so it's like similar That's mechanic. Cool. It's just worked out differently that way. Right. So cool. Stompa. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, five ballista skill. Uh, Forty nine power points. That's okay. Brutal. That's a lot. Um, so forty wounds. Forty wounds. I've never seen. Goo! I have not wounds. seen anything with that either. That is crazy. We got to get the the uh, imperial armor to find out what the uh, the reaver is. Yes, yes. <laughs> I want to like see what those are. The first what triple titans are seriously. <laughs> yeah, or the emperor uh, class one. Oh, oh man, I want to see what those are. Yeah, it's just gonna reach across. Yeah, them. exactly. <laughs> Four attacks. Not a whole lot. No. Um, uh, leadership eight three plus. So now we're at uh, was it twelve nine six four. So it it's has a, a decent gallop. Yeah. Um, f- uh, three four five six That's for his weapon, weapon skill. skill. Strength ten nine eight seven. Wow, pretty brutal. Oh gosh. Yeah, but it doesn't I, drop I, I'm down. Here. Yeah, I know. I was gonna say it doesn't drop down to its second. It it does it every ten wounds basically. Mm. Each set of ten wounds that it has there is goes into each of its levels. Of okay. Its Damn. Yep. Um, so Def Cannon, yeah. uh, 72, uh, heavy D6, strength 10, AP minus 4, D6. Attacking this weapon with a, uh, attacking unit with 10 or more models, this weapon's type changes to heavy 2D6. Oh, oh brutal. That's that brutal, pipe plate. Yeah, it's basically the pipe plate mechanic there. Uh, Scorchers awesome. Super Gala, 48 inch, heavy 2D6, strength 7, seven. minus 2, 1. See Psycho Daka Blasta. Ooh. Uh, okay, let's just jump ahead. Yeah, let's just jump ahead. <laughs> Psycho Daka Blasta. A Stompa can fire its Super Gatler more than once in your shooting phase. To fire the Super Gatler um, a second time, roll a D6. On a 2+, plus, you can make the attack. On a 1, the weapon's ammo has been expended and it can no longer be used for the rest of the battle. Oh. So to fire the Super Gatler a third time in your shooting phase, roll a D6. On a 5+, plus, you can make the attack. On a four or less, the weapon's ammo has been expended and it can no longer be used for the rest of the battle. Wow. So that's kind of crazy. Yeah. So you can. So you, the, the first push possibly, is. Possibly, yeah, the is first easy. push is like two plus. It's like it's possible if you roll yeah. a one, 
you kind of get screwed. Sorry, bro. Yeah. But then the third time that you use it in the shooting phase. You got to be desperate. You got to be desperate. <laughs> you got to really need those shots going in there. So it might be like the end of the game. Yes. It's like the last turn and you're like, if I can kill this like one guy, I get him off of the relic and I can win this. Oh, then you, you take that chance on a, on a th- one third of the time you're going to get it. Yeah. So. But this, but this game is broken. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you can't do it a fourth time. Yeah, I know. What's up uh. with that? <laughs> Um, Rage quit. Yeah. <laughs> so they've got Super Rocket, which is a 100-inch range. Oh. Heavy D3. Strength 8. AP minus 2. Okay. D6 Super strength. Uh, damage. Uh, but D6 damage. Mm-hmm. Uh, only one Super Rocket can be fired uh, by the bearer a turn. And each one, uh, and each can only be fired once per battle. Okay. So um, I guess you can take a couple of those. Uh, three Super Rockets. Oh, okay. So. Twin Big Shooter, Mega Choppa. Whoa. So it's got two different choices, the Smash and the Slash. Smash and Slash. Um, Smash is strength times two, so you've got possibly strength 20. Mm -hmm. Uh, AP minus five, six damage. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) Wow. So the four attacks now seem like, this guy is designed to like kill big heavies. That's what he's there for. Uh Uh, But then you've got the Slash, which is strength user, which is still strength 10. (laughs) Uh, AP minus two. D3 damage, <gasps> make three hits oh. rolls for each attack with this weapon instead of one. So now you're at 12 attacks. Okay. So yeah. Killing lighter yeah. stuff. Do you have, do you, are, you, are you attacking infantry or are you attacking his Imperial Knight? <laughs> uh, that's hard. So that yeah. four looks really impressive at yeah. this point. Yeah, that's awesome. So I got, uh, right. but there's actually something else oh. here. Or Effigy oh. Orc. Oh. Uh, units within six inches of friendly Stompa can reroll failed morale tests. Oh, that's pretty cool. Nice. And bigger and stompier. This model can fall back in the movement phase. Oh, that's the same thing as they had with this one, with yeah. the other ones, right? That's yeah, right. so they can do all that fun stuff. Uh, oh, and also, uh, it can move over enemy infantry models, uh, though at the end of its move, it must be more than one inch away from enemy models. Okay. Yeah. And when you're moving 12 inches, that's... Yep, and it doesn't okay. suffer any moving and heavy weapons, so that's pretty cool. Sweet. Well, let's take a look at Wargear real quick, because I think it's the last of the entries. Sure. Um, yeah. And uh, moving here, pretty, pretty pictures. pictures. I really like the pictures. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's take a look in the back then. Yeah. Go then. then let's take a break after that. Okay. Gotta get some water. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's a lot we talked about. Um, so the orc points values. Yep. Uh, something I'm noticing real quick, the orcs are still six points a, uh, for a boy. Uh, so that's consistent. Yep. Um, so what are some other big things? Let's uh, see. The slugger is zero points extra. Uh, a shooter is zero points extra. Okay. Um, a couple of those different things. Yeah, Snazgun is zero points. Squig Bomb is zero yeah. points. Yeah, so that's like, I've noticed points. that a lot of these, like, when it's only, like, one unit that can take them, they very often it's characteristic to work them. it into them. So, mm-hmm. like, I've got my, uh, like, my, my Black Knights there. Um, they're the only ones that can have the Plasma Talons and the Corvus oh, okay. Hammers, and yeah. they're 50 points per model, uh-huh. but those two weapons that you equip them with are zero points. Okay. So a lot of those ones where it's, Literally only this unit can take it, yeah. they're going to be zero points. Oh, okay. And then the basic weapons that most, like your line infantry are going to take, are going to be zero points. So mm-hmm. it, it's not at quite as crazy, like, complicated as that. But once you get into other stuff, like you're adding, you know, four points for a custom shooter and things like that, where it starts to get a little bit, oh, okay. you know, we got to figure out. I guess it's kind of nice where yeah. um, instead of saying, like, here you get this and it's factored into your points, they're probably just yeah. reducing it by that much and then like giving you the option, like you could take that for four, or yeah. which is what it comes with normally, or you can upgrade for yeah, six. Yeah, exactly. And then you don't have to worry about like, oh, and then, the, and then it works for them because at that point it's like, you know, certain models are, like if you add on a Storm Bolter onto a Rhino, mm-hmm. it's the same points as adding a Storm Bolter onto a, onto a, uh, onto uh, like a Terminator, you know what oh, I mean? Okay. It's like same power, same thing. It's like all even mm-hmm. across the board, no matter who's taking it. I so. guess I would probably make uh, like if they decide to balance things. Like if they find that like the battle wagon <laughs> for 161 points is like under costed, they could just say, "All right, here's an addendum to this." Yeah, and then they don't have to addend exactly. all that. Exactly. Once a year, they can release re-release the point values mm-hmm. list as opposed to having to re-release a whole book. Oh yeah. And suddenly now it's like because you know the power level points. If you're just having fun with your friends. Whatever, it doesn't make a difference mm-hmm. to, as much as it's really going to make a difference for... like Because I think the point values, when they're trying to balance things out, it's going to be more of an issue for the match play, so you have in the competitive scene and yeah. stuff like that. Mm-hmm. That's where it's going to be more of an issue, and at that point, they just have to send out a PDF with these changes, and they're good to go. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Sweet. Some melee weapons. Yeah. Um, so look here. The Stampa. Oh, yeah. 900 points. Ooh. 900 points base. <laughs> and then he's got... Uh, then you have to pay hard. for his weapons and stuff. Oh, yeah. Although, I guess we can check and see which ones. What's he have? Uh, the custom... What was the what was the what was the big th- thing that he had the uh, 
Oh yeah, the the look the claw of Gork or Mork, which yeah. is the you know zero. the Mork's at zero points. That's good. So and uh what was the what was his oh, he had what the was super his gatla or the psycho gatla yeah it looks like the the yeah the mega gatla or something like that was it super, JJK. I thought it was or super gatla oh, i don't even see it 28 here. points gatla, gatla. or they have another one super slugger casting oh yeah i don't see it here yeah it's it's a super it's probably the super gatla oh the or super gatla sorry that, 28 points yeah, yeah. So you have to add 28 points onto him for that one when he has, because you might have the option for taking multiples, I'm not sure. So, but that's interesting. But then you see here, like when you have like named um, bosses and stuff, it includes their war gear. So everything mm. that they say they have, they've got, and that's what's included in oh, those okay. point values for them. Just, just it's just it like is. the, yeah, it's just the ones that, it's usually the ones that you have um, no name for. It okay. does not include the war gear, so. Sweet. Yeah, so um, cool. So that is orcs. Yeah, so yep. it works for gear. And this is all the stuff we kind of went over as yeah. we had that. So. so let's take a quick break. Um, all right. Uh, wet our whistles. <laughs> yeah. And we'll come back with Tau. Yeah. On to the Tau. 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 That's right. No longer the Tau. They're now the Tau. <laughs> it's like something was edited yeah, out of the game. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so, yes, yeah, so you've got your usual um, little fluff piece here. Same thing going in here. Talk about the cast, the fire cast. So uh -huh. the, the different, you know. The different they got levels the readings, of that stuff, all the, the creative writing section. Yep. <laughs> and then you go in here to the army list. Ooh. So we've got the keywords, the sets. That's those are the different plan plans that they've got chapter. that they belong to. I like their version of chapters. Uh -huh. For the greater um, good. So the greater good, yes. Uh, when an enemy unit declares a charge, a unit with this ability that is within six inches of one of the charging units targeted by... Uh, targets may fire Overwatch as if it were also targeted. The unit that does so cannot fire Overwatch again in this turn. Okay, so yeah. like it had before. Yeah, um, this is, uh, but it's interesting because it's if they use this, they can't fire Overwatch in that turn mm -hmm. again. Um, I had a bow report where I messed that up. What? Uh, and I got, uh, what we did is we thought it was just any unit within six inches could fire Overwatch because now you can fire Overwatch as many times as you get charged as oh, long as you don't get engaged. Okay. And we just thought it was the same thing with this that they could always keep charging. They could always and this keep Overwatch. edition game you played? Yes. Okay. Um, so now with this one, it's um, if they do it once, they can't fire Overwatch for the rest of that turn. That makes so, sense. Yeah, it makes things a bit, uh, bit less crazy. Marker so. lights. Yeah, marker oh, lights have completely so, changed. The, the, you know, everybody has their psychic uh, rules table, but yeah. they have psychic. So they just have so marker lights are their psychic yes. powers. <laughs> and um, the way marker lights work is that they no longer get used up. Like they uh -huh. don't get eaten up like they used to, where you can choose one to do it. Um, but they have um, an ever increasing. Um, power level to what they do depending upon how many marker lights you get onto a unit. Okay. So if you get one marker light onto the unit, uh, you can reroll all hit rolls of one uh, for any Tau and, uh, unit that um, models attacking, any Tau Empire models that are attacking this unit. Mm. So you get to reroll ones for any unit that's attacking them. So not just one, you don't have to choose which one does it, it's any Tau unit that shoots at them that turn gets to uh, get reroll ones. Okay. If you have two marker lights on it, um, destroyer and seeker missiles fired at this unit uh, use the firing model's ballistic skill uh, and any modifiers rather than only uh, hitting on sixes. So they've changed it now. So certain <gasps> weapons that are super oh. powerful are basically snap firing. They're always hitting on sixes. Mm -hmm. But if you have two marker lights on them, now they're hitting at their full ballistic skill and rerolling ones. And rerolling ones, exactly. Oh, God. Uh, then, if you have three on a unit, uh, the models attacking this unit do not suffer the penalty for moving and firing heavy weapons or advancing and firing assault weapons. So, mm -hmm. if you've got a, a riptide that fell back, he's going to be snap firing some of those those heavy weapons, mm -hmm. um, unless he's now got three marker lights on that unit that he shot with. So okay. now he's not ignoring that, and he's rerolling ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, then four, a unit uh, does not gain the bonus for saving throws for being in cover, so that ignores cover basically, mm -hmm. and ignores the move uh, the heavy weapon and uh, rerolls ones. Yeah. And then on five or more, you add one to the uh, the hit rolls. The, mod the hit rolls basically. So wow. You plus so one ballistic, ballistic skill. skill. Yeah. Okay. On five or more. Okay. So it takes um, a lot to get to that. Yes. Yeah, so you got to get five marker lights on a unit, stuff. but you get all the same stuff, and it all uh, continually piles up on it. That's so, yeah, so it's pretty cool, pretty brutal. So uh, I heard that Tal were broken, or I'm sorry, underpowered. Yeah, now, they're they're nursed and overpowered, army. and it's all that fun stuff. So <laughs> lots of things to go. So we've got Commander, who is the, um, and then it looks like here you got Commander, and then you've got Commander in XV eighty six Cold Star battle suit. Okay, um, so, so. Uh, small armor or big armor? Yep, exactly. Uh, well, 
Yeah, so you've got here, Commander here, he's got eight inch range. Um, actually, I think he just becomes like a jump guy, if I'm not mistaken, jetpack, yeah. Oh no, they're both jetpack fly, yeah. he just has less movement. So you've got eight, uh, eight inch move, uh -huh. weapon skill two, uh, weapon skill three, ballistic skill two, strength five, toughness five, six wounds, four attacks, leadership nine. Uh -huh. Three plus save. Um, then he can be, uh, he's got burst cannon missile pods, burst cannons are 18 inches, assault four, strength five, AP zero, mm -hmm. one damage. Uh, missile pods are strength, assault two, strength seven, AP minus one, uh, damage D3. Now real quick, it does say that you can still swap out your weapons for ranged weapons and or support systems, so you're not just limited to those. Yeah. They just don't give you the rules for it. So it sounds like you auto these and then you can swap out for those. Yeah. Okay. So, um, and then yeah. two additional weapons. And you can add up to two tactical drones. Um, so they've got he's got four of the greater good there. Uh, you've got Master of War. Once per battle at the beginning of your turn, a single friendly commander can declare uh, Kayun or Montka. Uh, Kayun until the end of the turn. You can reroll failed uh, failed hit rolls for friendly um, set units. So it has to be specific set units there. Because um, I think there's other ones later on that have specific sets that they're part of. Oh, yeah. Um, Set units within six inches, um, but these uh, units cannot move for any reason. And oh. then you have Montka, friendly set units within six inches can both advance and shoot as if they hadn't moved this turn. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. So they can advance and shoot heavy weapons. So that's pretty cool when you've got that going there. Um, <laughs> and then you have Manta Strike. Uh, during deployment, you can set the commander uh, in a Manta uh, uh, in a Manta hold instead of placing them on the ground. So it's basically their deep strike oh, okay. is what they've got because they're up in a Manta flying above uh, the gotcha. battlefield. Uh, the XV-86 Cold Star Battle Suit uh, increases the move from 8 to 20. Mm -hmm. Pretty brutal. Um, they're going to be moving. Um, and it looks like everything else looks to be the same, um, including the Master of War and all of the other abilities. So it basically oh. just increases its, uh, wait, its wait, movement wait, wait. phase. Uh, it has a Cold Star Oh, it does have Cold ability. Star. Yep. This looks interesting. When this model advances, add 20 inches to its move characteristic for that movement phase instead of rolling a d6. That's, so that's crazy. Jams. So now the commander can move 20, mm -hmm. advance 20, mm -hmm. and if he declared Monka, can also fire his weapons. It's 46. 40, you know, <laughs> or, so he's got a 40 yeah. inch move. And he's got a 36 inches with the missile pods. So you've got oh, a 76 inch threat range with the <laughs> missile pods. Whoa now. Yeah. 58 inch range, uh, 8 inch threat range with the high output burst cannon. That's brutal. That's yeah, high output. Oh, he's got the high output burst cannon, which is 18 inches assault, 8, strength 5, AP 0, uh, damage 1. So it's twice as many shots as the regular burst cannon. Yes. That's pretty brutal. Dude, bananas. <laughs> yep. Um, and then they also have, later on, we'll, we'll get into and we'll talk about their uh, support systems. Mm -hmm. They've got some support systems that give oh. you uh, plus one to the AP. So uh -huh. now all of those would be AP minus one, oh or this gosh. would become, the missiles would be AP minus two. Wow. Um, they've got a whole bunch of different things that can be really helpful, yeah. which is kind of cool. I have to say, like, I've played Tau on and off for years, yeah. and, like, their support systems and gear and stuff like that have always confused the hell out of me. Yeah, now <laughs> they're, they're, I think they're simpler, but mm -hmm. they all do good things. It's usually, like, the names, you know? Like, yeah. You hear plasma, that's, like, an English word, and I'm like, okay. Yeah. It's it's plasma versus, yeah. like, the Kalraka. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, ethereal. Yes, yeah, so you've got the ethereal here. Movement six, weapon skill three plus, ballista skill four plus. Um, yeah. Yeah, standard uh, strength three, toughness three. So guardsman uh, four wounds, uh, just like a guardsman. <laughs> <laughs> three attacks. Uh, so this is it's a baby character. I yep. think at this point, like usually it's like six, yep. but baby. Equalizers. Um, this guy sounds like a, a wrestler. Yeah. Uh, user minus one AP, one damage as model. Uh, a model armed with equalizers increases his attack characteristic by one, so up to That's four. That's pretty cool. Um, Honor Blade, uh, plus two strength, AP dill, uh, one attack. Yeah, okay. so actually when you have these, he's equipped with the equalizers, it doesn't say the plus one characteristic. He doesn't need to use the equalizers for that attack. Mm -hmm. So if you just need extra strength on it, and that's what you're looking to get, you can make all of your attacks with Honor Blade as long as he's got an equalizer. So suddenly he has four attacks, oh, and you can all make it, it with says, the Honor Blade. 
Uh, ethereal is a uh, single model armed with an honor blade if you're not accustomed to blah blah blah, blah. So, okay so, so you, you actually add upgrade the equalizer, yeah so this model replaces honor blade for the oh, equalizer uh, replace its honor blade yeah. with the oh, so okay. i think no, what you um you would probably if that were the case what they usually do is have the name here and then they have like the two sub things so if it had like well, ethereal yeah. weapon, and then it well what i was thinking it. is if you had the two weapons oh, I gotcha. if you just have it equipped it may just give you the bonus oh, okay. to do that so yeah it'd be interesting so uh what is its special ability option friendly Ow! A unit within six inches of the ethereal may use the ethereal's leadership characteristic, nine, which is good. Yeah. Um, instead of their own when making morale tests. Invocation of the elements. In your movement phase, the ethereal may invoke one of the elemental powers below. All friendly to Ow! Empire infantry and battlesuit units within six inches of the any ethereal invoking an elemental power gain that power's benefit until the start of your next turn um so for six inches you can have column of tides subtract one from any morale test made for effective units uh storm of fire you may reroll hit rolls of one in the shooting phase for affected units that remain stationary in the movement phase um sense of stone whenever an affected unit suffers an unsaved wound roll d6 on a six that wound is ignored nice yeah. um zephyr's grace uh, you can reroll the dice for affected units that, uh, that uh, when they advance. So um, that's kind of cool. Yeah. I, yeah, they're all all nice little bonuses there. Yeah, you're using there. marker lights to get that plus one uh, or the the reroll ones. You know, so this is cool. It's like a free marker light, but yeah. instead of that way, you can divvy up a little bit better. Mm -hmm. um, and it also you can um, if you have him like square in the middle of four units, you can affect all of them. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is this is a nice like synergistic thing. Yeah, I like on. it. I think it'd be cool to send mm -hmm. them up there with a bunch of guys. Cadre. And you got the Cadre Fireblade here. Uh, looks like similar. He's a shooter, man. Uh, oh yeah. Ballistic skill oh two. yeah. Ballistic skill two. Better shooting there. Uh, same strength and toughness. One extra wound. Uh, same attacks. One less leadership. Um, okay. So going up there. Well, he's a little warrior, so yep. that makes sense. Uh, you can have the marker light. You can have pulse rifle. Pulse rifle is rapid fire one. Strength five, AP zero, uh, one damage, mm -hmm. um, and then photon grenades. That's uh, grenade D six. This weapon does not inflict any damage. Your opponent must subtract one from any hit rolls made for infantry units that have suffered any hits from photon grenades until the end of the turn. Mm. Uh, so that's interesting. So you get D six shots to try to to make them take a minus one to hits. That's cool. Which is pretty so cool. It's, it's more yeah, likely it's happening. Like, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, then volley fire models in set units within six inches of the friendly set cadre fire blades uh, may fire an extra shot with pulse pistols, pulse carbines, and pulse rifles when shooting at, uh, at a target within half the weapon's range. Hmm. So pretty good, pretty good. Especially yeah. since it's rapid fire, so you're going to be looking at three web, a three with a pulse rifle. You're having three shots at strength five within 15 inches. That's pretty good. Brutal. Start throwing marker lights now. You have four. Yep. It'd be pretty oh, brutal, man. pretty awesome there. Yeah. All right, so we got Commander Tower Farsight. Power. Let's get rid of him. Yeah, Commander <laughs> Farsight here. Ooh. Um, so Farsight Enclaves, I think, is the uh, is going to be the uh, the set yeah. that they've got there. So that's interesting. Makes sense. So this is the first like named character here. He's a shooter too. Yes. I usually and weapon skill to too. Not very. You know, they, they shoot a lot, but not very well. <laughs> um, yeah, we've got good shooting, good uh, attacking too there. So we've got mm -hmm. strength five, toughness five, oh, he's six a big, wounds. He's a big character. Yep. Four attacks. Um, he's got a plasma rifle, which is 24 inches, rapid fire one, uh, strength six, AP minus three, one damage, or a dawn blade, which is melee weapon, strength user, AP minus four, Dude. D three damage. All right. Um, so master of war, once per battle at the beginning of your turn, single friendly commander can declare. So he's got the Kayun or Montka, uh, genius of Montka. Once per battle, commander Farsight can declare Montka, even if Kayun or Montka has already been declared. Montka and Kayun cannot both be declared in the same turn. Okay. So that's interesting. So he gets an extra Montka, uh, and then you get a choice between Kayun or Montka in the mm. game as well, which is kind of interesting. Um, so then you've got, although I guess if you want to use Kayun, you're going to have to use Kayun first, the way this is. You can't be Montka, then Kayun, because the genius of Montka, because um, the Master of War doesn't let you declare it again. So I think yeah. you would have to do Kayun or Montka. 
and then you get Monka later yeah, in the game. Okay. So, mm-hmm. uh, but you get an extra Monka, which is kind of interesting. Way of the short blade. Uh, you can reroll hit rolls of one for friendly Farsight Enclaves units within six inches of the Commander Farsight in the fight phase or any phase if the target is an orc unit. Oh, oh jerks. So if they're shooting at orcs, they get to reroll ones. Yeah. Which is pretty then cool. They've had a preferred enemy orcs. So. Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> awesome. Um, shield generator, Commander Farsight has a four plus invul save. Pretty nice. And then Manta Strike, so he's got that deep strike ability, which okay. is pretty cool. Um, then you got Commander Shadow Sun. Um, Commander Shadow Sun. Tau Sept. Yep, Tau Sept. A Tau Sept. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, weapon skill three, so not quite as good at hitting. Uh, same ballistic skill though. Strength four, toughness four, so one less strength, one less toughness, mm-hmm. one less wound. Yeah. Uh, two less attacks. Oh no, same attacks, yeah, same. sorry. Mm-hmm. Uh, same attacks and uh, same leadership, same save. But she also has access to shield drone and yeah. command link drone. So it looks like the, um, uh, the the drones are about what they were before. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of neat. I mean, see, they do have the high toughness. Although, you know, I think like one of the things I loved about drones back in the day was like they were the uh, kind of like this like underappreciated assault unit because they were actually initiative four. So yeah. They were a lot faster than the Tau. But now we don't have that uh, aspect. So yeah. now the hand to hand ninjas that we've seen in the yeah. past. But the, also the thing is now drones become independent units. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, All right. So. Um, so, so that yeah. has the Fusion Blaster, yep. uh, 18 inch, Assault 1, Strength 8, minus 4 AP, and D6. Uh, if the target is within half range of this weapon, roll two dice when inflicting damage with it and discard the lowest result. So oh, that's melt pretty out. brutal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, um, Master of War, so, so it has the same Kayun and Monka. Yep. So she's genius of Kayun, so oh. she can use a Kayun twice versus Monka. She's, she's uh, more cunning than brutal. Yep, more cunning <laughs> than brutal, but also brutal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's more brutal than cunning, but also cunning. Uh, then you have Camouflage Fields. Your opponent must subtract one from all hit rolls that target Commander Sadosun or her command drones. Oh, that's interesting. Mm. Um, then you've got Infiltrator. So... Um, during deployment, Commander Shadow Sun can be set up anywhere in the battlefield that is not within your opponent's deployment zone and is more than 12 inches from any enemy unit. Oh, so that's interesting. So, so it's she, like a... She a, has a lamer... Um, lamer form infiltrate. of infiltrate, and okay. she doesn't have the... Uh, or she might have the deep strike thing later. Uh, no. Nope, I don't see it anywhere. Oh, no, no. interesting. Um, the shelf the, battle the suit. economy battle suit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, XV-22 uh, Stealth Battlesuit, Commander Shadow Sun has a 5 plus invul save. That's one way of saying 5 yeah. up invul save. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Defender of the Greater Good, roll a d6 each time Shadow Sun loses a wound while uh, she is within 3 inches of a unit of friendly XV-25 Stealth Battlesuits. Oh. Oh. On a 2 plus, a model from that unit can intercept that hit. Oh, okay. Shadow Sun does not lose a wound, but um, that unit suffers a mortal wound. Oh, oh interesting. So drone so support. Oh. Loses, if she uh, roll a d6 each time Shadow Sun loses a wound. So while this is winning. Interse- or, um, or the glorious Look, intervention. Yeah, glorious intervention yeah. sort of thing where you can just jump in in front of it. Even mm-hmm. at, But it's after she's had the wound, so she gets to make her save. And if she failed yeah. it... Then she could have some uh, a stealth battle suit takes a mortal less wound. productive stealth battle suit. Yep, that's great because yep. it's still, like she's better at saving anyway. So yep. it's like it's a freebie. Yep, exactly. And then yeah. you got drone support. When Commander Shadow Sun is set up on the battlefield, her company drones are set up in uh, unit coherency with her. From that point forward, the drones are uh, treated as separate units, so they can go off and do whatever they want to okay. do. Uh, but you have the savior protocols. If drone unit is within three inches of a friendly Tao Empire infantry or battle suit unit. You can choose to allocate any wounds to the drone instead of the target unit. Um, so this Same is interesting. Is. Um, I've had this conversation we were talking about with, um, it doesn't say you allocate hits, you allocate wounds. Mm-hmm. So um, when do you allocate that wound? Do you do it after the damage roll or do you do it before they've made a save? Allocate wounds, yeah. well you save a wound so you try to save the wound, and then the damage shows how many wounds you take. So is that how it goes? I think that's how it goes. Okay. So you would have to allocate, like, uh, before making the save, who would go so to. So before making the save, and then yeah. they would take all of it. So if I shot it, if I shot her with like a multi melta, 
she could pass it off onto a drone, and then the drone would take, even though they've only got one wound, right. they would take all of the, the Unless wounds. it's mortal wounds, right? What's up? Unless it's mortal wounds. Well, they're wounds. not longer a unit. It's oh, right, a right, 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 right. So, yeah, it only goes oh, into the unit. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's sneaky. Yep. That's good. And then uh, the shield generator, uh, MV-52 shield drones have a 3-plus invul save. Nice. That's pretty cool. Uh, command link. If a friendly command link drone is within 3 inches of Commander Shadow Sun at the uh, start of any of your shooting phases... Nominate a single Tau Empire Tau. unit within 12 inches of the drone. You can re-roll hit rolls of one for that unit until the end of the phase. Hmm. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Given the, the plus one. They keep doing that. The re-rolling ones yeah. is a, a, a really ongoing effective. thing in here. And they've got different ways of getting it, which is pretty cool. Uh, on she. Uh, so six inch move. Uh, weapon skill two. Ballistic uh, skill four. This is four. a special character, right? I think so. Yeah. I think it's an ethereal. Yeah. Um, so good at weapon skill, not as great at ballistic skill. Right. Looking at getting up in your face, which is High interesting. Leadership. High leadership, uh, five attacks, mm -hmm. five wounds. Oh, that's Toughest a little better than the yep. regular ethereal. Yeah, it's got the honor blade. Uh, doesn't have the ability to have the other thingies. Mm -hmm. uh, failure's not an option uh, within six inches of an ethereal. Uh, may use the ethereal's leadership. Oh, so I guess yeah. this is yeah. This is oh yeah, because it's got infiltrate. It's got a. Keywords, yeah. uh, ethereal. Viola Sept. Viola Sept. All right. Uh, shield generator on Shri has a five, a four plus invul save. Uh, Blade Master. Oh. Uh, at the beginning of each fight phase, choose one of the following effects to last until the end of the phase. On Shri, close combat, um, close combat attacks have AP minus two, or you may reroll failed invulnerable saves for okay. on Shri. So that's pretty interesting yeah. if you're looking to go all out Defensive to the hit. Or, or, yeah, yeah, you get to make that choice, which is kind of cool. And then you've got Invocation of the Elements, which so is the same thing we talked about before, which is uh, still pretty cool, pretty mm -hmm. impressive. Yeah. Uh, then you've got on Va Of the Tau Sept. Yep, of the Tau Sept. And they're also they also come ethereal. with Ethereal Guard, too, which is interesting. Or, I take that back, no, are the, oh yeah, they are Ethereal. Yeah, plus and ethereal two Ethereal guard. Guards, so. Okay. Um, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. um, so the same so thing. The weapon skill. The weapon skill is lame. way low. <laughs> this and uh, ballistic skill is four plus. Strength sucks. We got more wounds. Um, less I think, strength. I, I think this is the one that's like hovering one on the attack. So they're way, a lot more of a leader than. Yeah. Um, so they've got an honor blade, but I don't think you want to get them in close combat. It doesn't look like. Yeah. But although the, the uh, guard, although the honor okay. guard is three plus three plus mm -hmm. strength three toughness three. Two wounds, three attacks. Yeah, so they're yeah. not bad, but they're yeah. Okay. Um, they're they got the failure is not an option. Yeah. Soon. So they've got the failure is not an option thing. They've got paradox of duality. When this unit is attacked during the shooting phase, it may add rather than subtract the AP of the attack to its save characteristics. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. So if you shoot it with like AP minus four, you're looking at AP plus four. The four plus save. Yeah, so no, it adds four to their save. So suddenly they're they're gonna have a, a one plus save, which is you still fail on the one, but you know, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Uh huh. Um, and then uh, which is interesting, but uh, yeah, so you get the plus to it. So if you're shooting them with high AP weapons, then they're just gonna be getting extra oh, okay. saves on that, which is awesome. Yeah, you want to be throwing rocks. Yeah, exactly. You want to shoot them with like your, low AP your, stuff. Your guardsmen are gonna be where it's at. Yeah. <laughs> um, Supreme loyalty. Whilst on Va is on the battlefield, you may reroll morale test for all friendly Tau Empire units. Pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. um, Grand Invocation of the Elements, which is what we uh, we talked about all of that, which is pretty cool. So that's kind of interesting. They're gonna stick around, and it's basically going around there, re-rolling morale tests, mm -hmm. and just being kind of a badass from there. Yeah. Um, yep. Okay. So, cool. And then you got Dark, Dark Strider. Star, uh, Dark Strider. So uh, this one, let's see, what is this one? I believe this is the, um, oh god, was it the Pathfinder character? So, uh, decent weapon skill, three up. Uh, Bolsa skill is bomb. Um, five wounds. So really kind of a BA. Yep. Not too bad. I mean, we're not like, like on super character, a little bit. but still like a little. Yep. Uh, three attacks. Um, so, marker light, 36 inch, heavy yep. uh, one. Um, and we saw that before. Pulse carbine, 18 inch, assault two, strength five, AP dash one. Uh, photon grenade, we saw that yep. uh, before. Uh, Vanguard, at the start of the first battle round, but before the first turn begins, you can move Dark Strider up to 7 inches. He cannot end his move within 9 inches of any enemy models. If both players have units that can do this, the player who is taking the first turn moves their first unit, or units first. 
All right, structural analyzer. In your shooting phase, choose a friendly Tao Sept infantry within six inches and an enemy unit visible to Dark Strider. The unit, or the enemy unit's toughness is considered to be one point lower than Tau uh, Sept infantry, and uh, uh, units target them with a shooting attack. Uh, this ability cannot be used when firing Overwatch. So normally, you just drop everybody's toughness down one. Yeah. Um, so long as they're. Or well, the one six that inches. you choose, you choose one. Mm -hmm. Right. Um. Choose a friendly Tau. Oh, you choose the U, uh, the Tau unit. Yeah. And whatever they, they target at, right. is minus one toughness. Um, okay, cool. Pretty good. Fighting retreat. Friendly Tau Sept infantry uh, units within six inches of Dark Strider uh, in the shooting phase may attack with ranged weapons even if they fell back this turn. Pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty bad. cool. Yeah. Um, so it's like getting the fly ability without the tau actually sept. being fly. Yeah. So they are Tau Sept. Mm -hmm. A lot of stuff in Tau Sept. Yep. So now you got the strike team. I think that's the ultra the fire warriors. The <laughs> yeah. So now you got the strike team, which is the fire warriors here. Uh huh. Um, so you've got um, contains five fire warriors. Can, can include up to uh, seven more. So you can have up to eleven or uh, twelve. Sorry, twelve fire warriors. Mm -hmm. um, a fire warrior Shazui can take the place of one fire warrior. Each fire warrior and fire warrior Shazui is armed with a pulse and. Uh, Different stuff, and you can also get some uh, some drones. Yep. Uh, so what do we got? We've got the missile pod here, salt two, yep. strength seven, AP minus one, uh, damage D three, pulse carbine, pulse pistol, pulse rifle. We kind of gone over those. Mm -hmm. Smart missile systems. Okay, this is new. Yep. Uh, range thirty, heavy four, strength five, AP zero, uh, damage one. There's a lot of weapons that have that 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 profile. Yeah. For the town here. Uh, smart missile systems can be fired at units that are not visible to the bear. In addition, units attacked by the weapon do not gain any bonus to their saving throws for being in cover. So ignores cover and ignores line of sight, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, photon grenade we've gone over. Yep. Uh, so Bondi Knife Ritual. If you roll a okay. six when taking a morale test for this unit, the test is automatically passed. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah, so if you roll a six and you're going to be losing a lot of models, no need to worry because they're good to go. Good. Yep. Um, then you've got drone support when strike team is set up on the battlefield. Any company drones are set up in the unit coherency from it, and then they become individu individual. Save your protocols. Save your protocols. That's the same thing oh, we talked yep, about, so the drones. Except at three inches, right? Yep, at three okay, inches. No, um, guardian field. Guardian drones have a five plus invul save. Strike teams within three inches of any friendly guardian drones have a six plus invul oh, save. Oh, nice. Pretty cool. And then uh, DS8 tactile support turret. Tactile support turrets. Are not set up when their unit is set up. Instead, once per game, at the end of any of your movement phases, you may set up the tactical support turret within coherency of its unit and um, more than two inches away from any enemy models. The turret cannot move for any reason and is destroyed if the strike team moves out of its unit coherency with it. So it's once per game, so you don't you can't just keep placing it and picking it up. Mm -hmm. You can only place it once, and then if you move away from it, it's gone. Mm -hmm. So that's interesting. The structure that's of the tactical support turret is ignored for the purposes of morale tests. So pretty cool. Uh -huh. But they do have the fly. Oh, the guardian drones have fly. Yeah. Just real quick, I want to see what the attack the the uh, Johnny can uh, support turret. Um, okay, support. so it's the same uh, toughness, strength, uh, ballistic skill four plus. Okay, so it, it not too dissimilar. Yeah. No, yeah, it's pretty good. They're the ones that are probably gonna have the smart missile system. Okay, so, so breacher team. Yep. Um, it looks like their stat line is pretty much the same. Um, and uh, so it looks like, let's see, marker lights, missile pod, pulse blaster, that one is new. Yep. Um, and it has the, uh, the three, it has three different characteristics per range. Um, close range is five inches, it's assault two, strength six, minus two, and one. Um, medium range is up to 10, uh, it's assault two, five, minus one, AP, and one. Long range, uh, same, 15 inches, and it's strength four, uh, dill, and one. Cool. Um, so yeah, I mean, it just gets yeah. harder the closer it gets, which was I think pretty what good. It was before. Yep. So. And then they've got uh, Bondi knife as usual, all the usual drone same, stuff. Yep. yep everything's same, the same, same for them. So it's the same thing. They just have uh, the the pulse blasters versus the pulse carbines. Uh -huh. So cool. Karoot. Ooh, these guys are gonna be interesting. Yeah. Uh, weapon skill three plus. Oh, the movement is four, seven. So they yep. are going. Pr they're pretty. Speedy they're moving a bit faster. Yeah. Um, weapon skill three plus. Ballistic skill four plus. Strength three. Toughness three. Uh, one one uh, six leaderships. So they're not so smart and save six plus. Yeah. Um, includes ten and can include up to additional ten. So you have twenty crew. So their rifle uh, for shooting is a twenty four inch rapid fire four oh one. Uh, then for melee, melee, melee is plus, plus one strength. Okay, so. 
become yeah. So these these guys are strength four, toughness yep. uh, three. And then they have stealth hunters, which is so at the start of the cannon. first battle round. But before the first turn begins, you can move them uh, to seven inches, up to seven inches, but still can't be closer than nine inches. Mm. So the the stuff that um who is it? One of the other guys back there had right. that ability. Uh, it was the pathfinder. Yes. Guy. Cool. And then you got the Krutox Riders. Oops, seven inches. Sorry, camera. It's all good, I think. <laughs> a little bit shaky. I think. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not watching it, so. <laughs> uh, Krutox Riders, um, seven inch move, three, um, weapon skill three, ballistic skill uh, four, so looks like the same thing except higher strength. Yep. Oh, yeah. Three plus higher strength, strength six, toughness five, yeah. three wounds, um, two attacks, and same leadership and Beast, save. Man. Yeah, they can Jeez. include one Crutox Rider, they include one additional Crutox Rider, or two additional Crutox Riders. Um, that's pretty cool. <laughs> um, so they've got the gun and the fist that they fire I love with. that they say that it's the so. Crutox Fists. Yeah, <laughs> the Crutox Fists, uh, which damage two, mm -hmm. uh, which is awesome. So AP, yeah. AP zero, but damage two. They're big gorillas. And the Crutox Gun, though, is 48-inch range. Rapid fire one, so at 24 inches they're shooting two. Mm. Strength seven, AP minus one, D3 damage. Nice. They can put a lot of lot of power down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's pretty brutal. It's like a it's an auto cannon. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. awesome. Um, and they get uh, agile brute. So uh, when this move, this guy advances, add six inches to his movement for the movement phase instead of uh, cool. rolling d six. So, so it's like flat out that you get on, on bikers yeah. and stuff. Like that. That's pretty cool. Um, and then we got of the Tau Sept. Yep. Um, no, they're Tau Empire. Tau they're Empire. Not Tau sorry. Sept. Yeah. And they're Crute. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, they're not part of a set, which is kind of interesting. Okay. So um, we get Crute Septs. <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> then you got the Crute Hounds, uh, twelve inch move, weapon skill three, zero ballistic skill, mm. strength three, toughness three, one wound, two attacks, five leadership. Unit contains four Crute Hounds, include up to an additional eight. Um, so you're looking at, at squads of possibly twelve, and they have Ripping Fangs, which are strength user AP minus one, also one bad. damage, not bad. That's okay. Um, and Voracious Predator special nice. ability, you may reroll failed charge rolls for this unit when targeting a unit that has suffered uh, any unsaved wound uh, wounds this turn. So they can smell blood yeah. and want to get in there. So that's pretty cool. Man, little piranhas. Yep. Crute Shapers. So this is your character. Um, it used to go into the unit, but now it looks like it's going to be separate. Um, so movement seven, uh, weapon skill. So weapon skill is skill the same, uh, same, same, same up until uh, wounds, which is five, uh, three attacks. Um, so they've always had a high and, yeah. wound level, so this is consistent, although it's a lot higher than it was before. Yeah. Um, plus one leadership. And plus one leadership. So, uh, And he gets a rifle and a ritual blade. The rifle, uh, we saw that before. Uh, the ritual blade, um, it's just him. Uh, if any models are destroyed by this weapon, friendly Crute within six inches of the bearer do not have to take a morale test at the end of the turn. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, fancy pants. Yeah. Um, let's see. Warrior options, abilities. Okay. The Shaper commands. You may reroll wounds. Uh, rune rolls of one made for friendly Crute uh, units within six inches of this model. Cool. Uh, wisest of their kind, Crute. Uh, units within six inches of a friendly crew shaper may use the shaper's leadership characteristic instead of their own when taking morale tests. Cool. So they get the plus one leadership, which yeah. is interesting. So cool. I, I so, think that like that kind of subs out for the fact that like normally they were part of the squad. So. Yeah. So now they've got like a little bit of a range on them uh -huh. that they can do a whole bunch of them, which is interesting. All right. So we've got the XV twenty five stealth battle suits. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Um, they've got. Um, uh, movement of eight inches, weapon skill five, ballistic skill four, strength four, toughness four, two wounds, uh, two attacks for the Shaz, self Shaz Wee, uh, three attacks for the self Shaz Vray. Yeah. Um, and you've got leadership seven, leadership eight, so you've got the sergeant basically down yeah. there. Uh, contains three, can include up to additional three, um, and they can take, uh, um, yeah, so they're equipped with uh, burst cannon, which we've gone over. And a fusion blaster, which we've gone over too. That's basically the melty guns there. Um, pretty brutal with 18 inch range melty guns, which is pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, then you've got the, the bonding knife ritual, which we talked about, infiltrators that we talked about. So, not in the deployment zone and more than 12 inches away. Target lock a model with a target lock does not suffer the penalty to their hit rolls for moving and firing heavy weapons or for advancing and firing assault weapons. This model can also advance and fire rapid fire weapons but you must subtract one from its hit rolls when it does so. Oh. Interesting. Okay. So that's kind of interesting. So that's kind of cool. 
Um, camouflage fields, your opponent must subtract one from all hit rolls uh, when you attack this unit. Okay. And then homing beacon. Uh, homing beacon may be used during your movement phase by placing it within one inch of its, its unit. If there are any friendly homing beacons on the battlefield at the end of your movement phase, um, one of your set units that has been up, uh, who has been set up in the uh, Manta hold can perform a low altitude drop instead of a Manta strike. Set up the unit wholly within six inches of the homing beacon. The homing beacon then shorts and is deactivated and removed from the battlefield if an enemy model ends a move within nine inches of it. So this ignores that nine inch thing. So you can uh, set it if you have like the stealth uh, suit drops down this uh, homing beacon and they just drop it down real close to an enemy unit. Um, yeah. they, the, the friendly models up in the Manta can, can drop down so you can drop down your commander or I imagine some of the crisis battle suits and stuff will that's have fancy. Yeah, Manta strike on the crisis battle suit mm -hmm. so, and the bodyguards and stuff so pretty brutal just that's not awesome. Shadow Sun what's up? just not Shadow Sun yeah. she couldn't afford a Manta yeah <laughs> so you got the crisis battle suits um, so these are uh, movement 8 inches weapon skill 5 ballistic skill 4 uh, strength 5 toughness 5 uh, three wounds. Oh, they got extra wounds. Yep, three wounds. Uh, two. two attacks and three attacks, and seven and eight. So you got mm -hmm. the Shaz Ray, who's just there, basically there. Um, so you can have up to there. three additional of them. Yeah. Uh, or six if you go up to extra power level. Cool. Um, so they have. You so you can have as many as nine in the squad, which is uh, interesting. Yep. Um, so then you have the. Uh, you start off with the burst cannon. Yep. Uh, we saw that before. Abilities for the greater good: bonding knife, virtual true saw, and manta strike. Yep. So, so usual stuff, and they've got the fly, which allows them to um, fall back and still shoot. So that's pretty fly. interesting. Mm. So crisis bodyguards. It looks like they're pretty much the same, uh, but we are bumping up the attacks from uh, f uh, two to three. Yeah, it basically it looks like they're squads of battle suits that are made up of just the Shaz Veray. Okay. Versus uh, Shaz Wee's in there. So they're all knobs. Yeah, um, basically. Then their leadership is upped uh, because of such, and their squad size is pretty much the same configuration. Yep. Um, they start with the burst cannon, and it looks yep. like they're pretty much same as these up until it gets to sworn protector. Yep. Uh, roll a d6 each time a friendly Tau Sept or a Sept uh, character loses a wound whilst they are within three inches of this unit. On a two plus, a model from this unit can intercept that hit. The character does not lose a wound, but this unit suffers a mortal wound. That's pretty at, cool. And they can drop in because yep, they can afford the, the Tau. Manta strike, exactly. <laughs> manta strike. All right. So have? then we've got oh, the Ghost ooh. Kill Battle Suit. So this is so uh, monstrous that it gets its own damage chart. So we're yep. ten wounds. Ten wounds on the on the on, the, on these. This so so uh, the changes that they have for the damage mm -hmm. coming here is um, it goes from movement twelve to eight to four as it goes down. Okay. And its ballistic skill goes from four to five to five. Okay. And its attacks go from three to two to one. Wow. Yeah. All right. Uh, so it looks like we have the burst cannon, we have the cyclonic um, ion raker. Whoa, or a uh, cyclical ion raker. So when attacking with this weapon, choose one of the profiles below. Standard 24 inch, heavy six, strength uh, six, minus one AP, and one. Strength yeah. seven. I'm sorry, so, yeah. uh, yes, right. Um, uh, overcharge, 24 inch. Uh, heavy D6, strength 8, minus 1, D3. If you make one or more hit rolls of 1, the bearer suffers a mortal wound uh, after all of its weapons shots have been resolved. Yeah. This is kind so of interesting. Sort of like it's, a... Uh, it's a shitty plasma cannon. Yeah. Because the AP is not that great. <laughs> yeah. AP is not that great, but the strength goes up, damage goes up, which is nice. Right. Uh, but it's, it hits. It's, okay. Instead of heavy it, 6, it does it's heavy drop. D6, yeah. which is interesting. That is so, a, but and you still take the chance of hurting yourself with it. Okay. So then we have the uh, um, so we have the flamer. We have the fusion yep. blaster. We've seen that before. And the fusion collider. This is a new one. So 18 inch uh, heavy D3 strength eight minus four C. This is a decent one. <laughs> and then D6 damage. If a target is within half range of this weapon, roll two dice uh, when inflicting damage with it and discard the lowest result. Yep. So it's a um, uh, it's a. A, a whole bunch of plasma guns strapped together. Yeah, it tape. seems like a melty gun is what this is. All right, that's, yeah, yeah, that's right. It's like multi melta. Yeah, um, which is interesting. Or no, a melted. It's a really it, multi melta. Yeah, multi melta. Heavy D three multi melta. Are multi meltas D three now? They might. No, they're not. It's just one shot. This is one shot. So okay. this is like so a D three multi melta strapped together. Yeah, and only rage eighteen as opposed to twenty four. Oh, okay. Um, All right. So it's got the infiltrator that we've talked about. Um, mm -hmm. Then it's got a ghost kill electro warfare suit. Your opponent must subtract one. 
from hit rolls for this model, attacking a ghost kill Shaz Ray uh, from more than 12 inches away. Okay. Um, so if you're more than 12 inches away, you're subtracting one from <clears throat> your hit rolls. See, what's um, interesting, because I know like camo cloaks and a lot of the things that they used to have that would just add plus one to your um, cover, save. To cover save, they got rid of and they've changed it. So now it's like minus one to hit, or yeah. um, if you do get cover, it's plus two versus like... Yeah, you get plus two plus as opposed one. to just the plus one for cover. And, but you don't get it if you're in, uh, in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, yeah so. there's no auto saves anymore mm-hmm. for that stuff, yeah. Um, it's got the savior protocols for its drones, because it also comes with stealth yep. drones. Uh, stealth field models shooting at a stealth drone or any ghost kill battlesuit within three inches of a friendly stealth drone. Subtract one from the hit rolls. This is cumulative with the ghost kill electro warfare suit ability. Uh. So if you're more than 12 inches away and he's next to a stealth drone, you're minusing two on your hits to them. That's pretty brutal. That That's pretty okay. crazy. You got to get up in their face. Yeah. Um, and then drone support when a ghost kill battlesuit set up. So the same thing. They become independent. At that point, so mm-hmm. the stealth drones are pretty cool with that ability there. Oh my gosh! So I was eyeballing this a little bit ago all <laughs> yeah. year because uh, you couldn't not. I mean, yeah. yeah. No. How is the Riptide going to be broken now? Yep. Right here we go. Here comes the Riptide. <laughs> well, the Riptide is broken because it's a freaking Land Raider. Yeah, <laughs> wounds <laughs> fourteen, so it's two wounds less than a Land Raider. No, that's that's. A, I think a Land Raider 16. is. Oh, that's right. That's yeah. right. So We're it's talking two Storm Raven. Yeah, so it's fourteen. Um, so it's uh, uh, the movement characteristic adjusts. So do the ballista skill and the attack. So. Um, it looks like we're at 12, 8, 4 for the movement. So we start off at 12 inches. So that's pretty decent. Yeah. Um, and then the ballistic skill goes from uh, 4 plus, 5 plus, 5 plus. Uh, and the attack is 4, 3, 2. Um, yeah. So it's, uh, it's, it's pretty hard. Yeah. It's it got looks a like fusion blaster. A 2 plus have? save. I think that was the, yeah. the key there. Is uh, you know a lot of vehicles have a three plus yeah. or lamer, but the two plus that's where it turns. Like really Land cool. Raider, yeah, is Land one Raider of the has ones that, yeah. I've seen that has a two plus. Yeah, um, so it's gonna be hard as nails. Yeah, which is so, cool. Fusion blaster, heavy burst gun, a cannon. Uh, when attacking with this weapon, choose one of the following profiles. You may only use the Nova Charge setting in accordance with the Riptide uh, Chassis Nova Reactor ability. See below. So standard, they're both thirty six inches. This is heavy eight, strength six, minus one, and one. Okay. Yep. Um, but then it, you bump up your shots to 12, and you reduce the AP to negative 2. Yeah, when you Nova charge it. Uh, right. Yep. So looks this is not, that's not too far off from what it used to do. Yep. The Ion Accelerator, um, when attacking with this weapon, of course you choose and blah, blah, Nova stuff. 72-inch uh, range, so you get a lot longer. It's uh, heavy 3 versus heavy... Oh, I'm sorry, there's actually 3 Standard sh- overcharge versus and two. Nova charge. So um, they're all 72. So, I'll, yeah, so heavy three, strength seven, minus three, and one. So it's a plasma cannon. Um, now we're on to a heavy plasma, uh, the overcharged version. So we're at D6, strength eight, minus three, D3. And of course, if you hit, uh, use a one, you take off a mortal wound. Yeah. Um, and then Which no- a lot of those things where they have the benefit of re-rolling ones to hit. Oh, yeah. That's going to be really helpful there. For sure. And it, it, it just seems like they just hand those out like cheap party favors. Yeah, especially here. Yeah, they've got a lot of those. So they're, they're like the honorary uh, Imperial Fist of the Xenos yeah, world. There you go. <laughs> uh, no charge. So now we're at heavy D6 again. So we're bumping up to strength nine, uh, minus three, and three, and we lost this. So the Nova Charge uh, yeah. is a lot safer than the Overcharge. <laughs> Although, we'll get to it, because I know yeah. what the Nova Charge does. So it probably hurts you yeah. when you roll in the first place. Um, all the stuff, all the stuff, all the stuff. Plasma so now, Well, the Plasma Rifle that we got over is 24 Rapid Fire, oh, okay. strength six, AP minus three. So it's sort of like a, a, a plasma, plasma gun. Rifle. Yeah, plasma gun minus one strength. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, okay, so Riptide Shield Generator has a 5 up invul save. Save your protocols, we've seen that. Shield Generator, Drone, Nova Reactor. So here's the money right here. Uh, in your movement phase, you can choose to use a Riptide Chassis Nova Reactor. If you do so, the Riptide Chassis uh, suffers a mortal wound. Oh, automatically. Yeah. Choose one of the following effects to last until the beginning of your next turn. The Riptide Shots Ray has a 3 plus and vulnerable save. The uh, boost, you can uh, move up to 2d6 in your charge phase, even if it doesn't declare a charge. Um, and Nova, the uh, Ion Accelerator or Heavy Burst Cannon can use its Nova Charge profiles. Yeah. So, so you're taking a wound, uh-huh. but then you get to get, those are pretty awesome profiles for those uh, weapons. When you have 14 there. wounds, like yeah. if you're a firing platform, that's pretty okay. Yeah, you, you can take a few hits. Yeah. So pretty so, cool. Yeah, yeah. Riptides are still... Pretty powerful. So mm-hmm. we'll see how much all this costs when we get to the points values. But oh, okay. still, you think it's a lot? 
Uh, probably, uh, I think so. But they're pretty powerful, so they're still. I mean, Tau is still obviously. You know, it's kind of nice to know. Is like we don't have the Riptide wing anymore. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so That's no longer the thing. You're using a yeah, slot. Yeah, what is the? It's, it's one. Is a single model equipped with a heavy burst cannon, maybe accompanied with the two shield drones, so you can only take one. Mm -hmm. So there's no squadrons of them. All right, then you've got a Pathfinder team. Um, so they've got the Ion Rifle, which has two uh, modes, standard and overcharge, both 30 inches. Rapid Fire 1 or Heavy D3, Strength 7 or Strength 8, both minus 1 AP, both 1 damage. But uh, if you roll a 1 uh, for the overcharge, you take a mortal wound. So mm. um, that's kind of brutal, especially since they've all got one wound except for the Recon drone. Yeah, you're just dead. Yeah. <laughs> you just die. Um, so they've got Marker Lights, Pulse Carbine, Pulse Pistol, Rail Rifle, we haven't gone over that one. No. Uh, rail Rifle is 30 inches, Rapid Fire 1, so with 15 inches you use two shots. Nice. Strength 6, AP minus 4, Ooh. D3 damage. Oh, the Rail uh, for Rifle's each, tight. Yeah, for each wound roll of 6 plus made for this weapon, the target unit suffers a mortal wound in addition to the normal damage. Wow. So you do the normal D3 damage D3 plus, plus a mortal wound. Five. Yeah, so if you, and, and it's a mortal wound, so if you hit a 6, and you do th D3 damage and kill that one unit, that one model, then someone else in that unit is going to take that mortal wound. Because so, mortal wounds carry over. Regular wounds right. don't. So how do they do it? Do, do, you, do you do regular wounds before you do mortal wounds? or do you Because I, I think if somebody could use a mortal wound on a 2-1 creature and then like decide that they're going to use the regular wounds after the mortal wound... Do they get just, to choose that? Or? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. Mm -hmm. um, in addition to the normal damage... Mm -hmm. So I think you do the normal damage, and in addition, you do a mortal wound. I don't know. That's the way I would read it. Is that it comes afterwards because it's in addition. But that's know. a question. Yeah. Um, photon grenades, we know. Mm -hmm. Any ability difference? Uh, drone support. Save your protocols. Uh, Vanguard. Oh no, we did that one. Move seven. Uh, recon suit. Units mark uh, making saves against attacks made by a Pathfinder team that is within three inches of a friendly recon drone. Do not get any bonus from saving thrones being in cover. So interesting. So no okay. no cover for them if they're within uh, recon drone. Okay. And pulse accelerator. Um, Tau Empire infantry units within three inches of a friendly pulse accelerator drone have the range of their pulse rifle pistols, pulse carbines, and pulse rifles increased by six. Nice. That's pretty good. And they've got the binding knife ritual and gravity wave projector. Enemy units beginning a charge move within 12 inches of a grav inhibitor drone reduce their charge distance by D3. So that's oh, pretty God. cool. Mm -hmm. Keeps people from getting in uh, to your face because they're not very good in close combat. No. So. <laughs> yeah, so piranhas. Yeah. Um, it looks like we are... Uh, okay, so 16 inch range. Um, so that's pretty decent. They're 6 plus, 4 plus, strength 4, toughness 5, 6 wounds. These things last. Holy cow. Um, two attacks, uh, leadership six, four up saves, uh, and it looks like you can have four additional piranhas, each of which is accompanied by blah blah blah. So you can have up to five of these guys. Um, yeah, and it's just the power rating of four. So cool. Um, burst cannon, fusion blaster, pulse carbine, seeker missile. So seeker missile, yep. I don't think we've gone nope. over this one. 72 inch range, uh, heavy one. It has no characteristics otherwise. A unit hit by this weapon suffers a mortal wound, just straight up. <laughs> Each seeker wow. missile can only be used once per battle. This weapon only hits on uh, a roll of a six, regardless of the uh, of the firing model's ballista skill or any modifiers. Yeah, but that's when you have the, the, the um, marker lights, uh, okay. two marker lights on the unit, and you can fire that at full. So it's the seeker and destroyer missiles can fire at full oh. if you uh, have the if you have that. So that's okay. pretty cool. But it used to be that you can only fire them at something if you shot it with a marker light first. So I guess that that's the benefit. Yeah, of that okay. Um, just gives you the option of uh, snap firing them. And <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, so abilities explode. So the uh, usual explode yep. for a vehicle. Save your protocols. Uh, threat identification pro protocols. In the shooting phase, uh, gun drones can only... No, we already saw that, didn't we? No, I don't okay. think so. Uh, can, only be, uh, can only target the nearest visible enemy unit. If two units are equally close, you may choose which is targeted. Cool. Um, attached uh, drones, when a piranha is set up, it's accompanying two drones are attached and are treated as being embarked. Whilst the gun drone remains attached, the piranha is considered to be equipped with the drone's weapons in addition to its own. Both drones can detach in the start of any of your movement phases. Uh, as disembarking from that point onwards, the drones are treated as a separate unit. They cannot reattach during the battle. Same cool. Z's. Pretty cool. Uh-huh. And 16-inch move is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Shooting around the board. 
The devil fish. The devil fish. Um, so it's a uh, vehicle with 12 wounds, toughness 7, strength 6, weapon skill 6. Um, it's As it goes down, it goes from movement 12 to 6 to 3. Uh -huh. Uh, ballistic skill from four to five to six, and attacks go from three to D three to one. Um, a little bit tougher than the uh, than a rhino. Yep, so. a little bit better than a rhino. Uh, can have a burst cannon, pulse carbine, seeker missiles, uh, which we just talked about, yeah. um, and smart <clears throat> missile <clears throat> systems. Uh, it's a hover tank. Distances must be measured to and from the hull of this model rather than its base because it's under the little oh, okay. little thingy. Um, it's got the usual explodes roll uh, for vehicles, turret mounting, uh, units attacked, uh, units attacked by a devil fish with an MB3 recon drone embarked within it do knock any bonus to their saving throws for being in cover. Oh, interesting. Mm. Okay. Um, uh, threat identification protocols in the shooting phase, gun drones can be uh, usual stuff there. Uh, save your protocols. We talked about yep. attached drones. We saw that. We saw that. Um, so normal stuff there. Old twelve and it's, dudes. Uh, can hold 12 guys there. Um, can 12, uh, 12 infantry or drones. Uh, it cannot transport battle suits. It can transport only a single MB3 recon drone, okay. but it does not count towards the total number of models embarked in the Devilfish. Cool. All right, the Razor Shark, uh, Strike Fighter. So we're looking at 6-6 um, six, six and 12 wounds. So uh, what was that? That was the, uh, the orc. Um, uh, fighters, weren't they? I think so. 12, so uh, it's looking at 20 to 50, 20 to 30, and 20 to 25 on the damage chart for movement. Um, then the ballista skill goes down from 4 to 5 to 5, and attacks from 3 to D3 to 1. This is a pretty standard mm -hmm. changes for the ballista skill on attacks. Um, and it's, it's a moderately paced uh, flyer, so it's not super fast, but not yeah. the slowest thing I've seen. Um, so, let's see, we had the... Uh, it, it has a single model equipped with a burst cannon, a quad ion turret, and two seeker missiles. Um, I think we've seen a lot of that, except for the quad ion turret. Uh, when attacking with this weapon, choose one of the profi profiles below. Uh, add one to hit rolls for this weapon against uh, targets that, can, that can't fly. Yeah. Um, so so it's basically strafing run. Yeah, so um, 30 inch range for both those. Uh, the standard shot is heavy four, strength seven, minus one, and one. Or uh, 30 inch heavy D6 strength eight minus one D3 if you make uh, and it has over or, uh, overheat yeah so um, you can get a, a one one and it also has the seeker missiles again yeah which is cool um, and it's got the usual stuff for flyers all the you know hard to hit airborne and supersonic yeah. so pretty cool yeah man pretty cool all right then bomber. we have a sun shark bomber uh, we got 12 wounds on this strength and toughness of six. Um, it's also got an interceptor drone uh, that it can take there, which it I don't think like we've had before, which is the same as before. Yep, straight, speed same is chart. the same as the last one. Um, ballistic skill, 455. Five. Attacks, 3D3, three, 1. Mm -hmm. uh, save of 4+. plus. Um, so it's got an ion rifle, um, we saw that before. which we've seen before. Marker light missile pods, usual stuff. Um, it's got pulse bombs. Sun Shark oh. Bomber may drop one pulse bomb as it flies over enemy units in its movement phase. To do so, after the model has moved the target, um, flew over, roll, then roll a D6 for each model in that unit up to a maximum of 10, adding one to the result. If the enemy unit is infantry, for each roll of five plus, the target unit suffers one mortal wound. So it's like the fire bomb that the, uh, yeah. the orcs had, which is kind of cool. Uh, crash and burn, attached drones. Um, save your protocols. So it's got the, uh, and save your protocols um, with the drones. So mm -hmm. that's pretty cool. So he's got that the interceptor drone that comes along. With it, um, oh, that's adorable. And it's it says, baby. yeah, it says. Uh, however, um, drones are attached and are treated as being embarked. While since have drones are being attached, before. Sun Shark Bomber is considered equipped with the drone's weapons. However, a hit roll of one when firing the ion rifle and overcharge setting results in one of the drones being slain rather than the Sun Shark Bomber. So that's kind of interesting. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of cool. So they can just take the wounds from the overcharge, yeah. which is nice. We get all the benefits of our relationship and none of the minuses. <laughs> yeah. So uh, uh, tactical drones. So that's basically they can okay. just take all of the different drones that we talked about. Yeah. Um, Looks like it's all the same stable platform. That's the only thing I've seen differently. Marker drones do not suffer the penalty for moving and firing heavy weapons. Which is pretty cool. That's dope. Yeah. So you got the usual stuff for them. Vespid. Vespid Stingwings. Uh, four plus. Four plus. Oh, 14 inch. Yeah. So they're pretty pretty speedy. Yeah, really um, speedy. Strength three, toughness four. That's good. They're yep. uh, harder to there. kill. Um, leadership sucks. Yeah. <laughs> and a four up save. 
Uh, although it looks like their leadership quickly Strain goes up. Leader. You need that leader. Yeah, you need that leader. You need him to keep around. Yeah, so you get four of those guys, um, and you can get an extra four yeah, to, or an extra yeah, eight. Yeah, so up to 12. Uh, and uh, your leader replaces you one. So now the the neutron blaster. This was always such a weird unit because it was like it had a really. It was one of the first ones that had a standard issue AP three weapon. Mm -hmm. It was really exciting, but it was also the the unit was so it died so fast. So by the time you got into shoot range, you're also in death yeah. range. <laughs> so, yeah, and their ballistic skill was not amazing. So uh, I'm curious to see what they do differently with it. So 18 inch range, assault two, strength five, minus two AP, and one damage. Eh, yeah. Okay. You get a lot of shots, but the ballistic skill isn't great. Uh, plunge from the sky. All right. During deployment, you can set up a unit. Okay. So it has deep strike. Um, cool. Anywhere is within nine inches away from enemy. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's excellent. Sounds good. Yeah. Maybe we'll see some more of these on the yeah. table. Yeah. I think it's going to, it's all going to be dependent on price, I think. Yeah. Uh, then we got the Farsight Marksman. Um, it is a character. Okay. Um, so he's going to so be. This is the dude. Yep. So he's the guy there. Um, he comes uh, with marker light and pulse pistol. Uh, drone uplink, you can add one to hit rolls for MV-71 sniper drones in the shooting phase when they uh, attack a unit visible to a friendly farsight marksman. Nice. That's pretty cool. So he's like scoping out the, uh, the units there for him. And then this model adds two rather than one to its saving throws when benefiting from cover. So cool. Then we go into the sniper drones. Yeah. Um, movement eight. Weapon skill, ballistic skill five, strength three, toughness four, one wound, one attack, six leadership. Um, yeah. Contains three uh, sniper so they, drones. They can really include do that, uh, up to six skill. total. Yep. So it goes to nine. Uh, long shot pulse rifle, 48 inches, rapid fire one. So you're looking at 24 inches, two shots, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, strength five, AP zero, one damage. This weapon may target a character even if it's not the closest enemy unit. Not bad. That's cool. So start popping off some of those targets. Uh, some of those characters there. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, it can it's got the savior protocols uh, for the greater good. Sniper drone stealth field. When your opponent your opponent must subtract one from hit rolls uh, for units attacking the sniper drones, um, unless the sniper drones are the closest enemy unit. So, so it's an interesting little tidbit there with that, which is kind of cool. Uh, then we've got the TX-78 Sky Ray Gunship. Mm. Um, so it's got Strength 6, Toughness 4, 13 wounds. Um, it goes down from 12 movement to 6 movement to 3 movement as it goes down, so it slows down very fast. Mm -hmm. uh, ballistic skill goes from 3 to 4 to 5, and its attacks go from 3 to D3 to 1. Mm. Um, so it's got Burst Cannon, Marker Light, Pulse Carbine, Seeker Missiles, and Smart Missile System. Um, it's got the usual stuff there, hover tank, explode, savior protocol, threat identification protocols, uh, and attached drones and all that fun stuff. Yeah. So, this is cool. like a very done gunship. Pretty cool. Yeah. Yep. Uh, then we've got long oh. strike here. Um, Interesting. So strength six, toughness seven, 13 wounds. So uh, he just has a. Normally, you would take him and you'd put him in a vehicle, but it looks like you just give him a vehicle. He comes in a vehicle automatically. Yeah, Long Strike's gunship is a single model equipped with a rail a rail gun. Okay. Maybe by gun drones, each with uh, only one of this unit can be included in your army. Uh, yeah. So his movement drops from twelve to six to three. His ballistic skill goes from two to three to four. So even at the end, he's still not bad. Okay. Um, and he's got a burst cannon, an ion cannon, pulse carbine, railgun. I don't know if we've done the railgun here. No. Um, yeah, so railgun has got two options, solid shot and sub munitions. Um, so you choose one of those. So you either have 72 inches, they're both 72 inches. One's mm -hmm. heavy one, one's heavy D6. One is strength 10, one is strength six. Um, you've got AP minus four or AP minus one, and then damage D6 or damage one. And on the uh, solid shot, each time you make a wound roll of 6 plus for this weapon, the target unit suffers D3 mortal wounds in addition to the normal damage. Holy cow. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. So that could really start to take down um, some really powerful, oh, like you have the yeah. possibility of 9 damage per, you know, Start per, punching uh, knights in the shot. face. That's Oops. pretty cool. Hi, camera. So, yeah, you can still see it. <laughs> um, yep, hover tank explodes. Tank ace, you can add 1 uh, to wound rolls for long strikes gunship. When it shoots at a vehicle or monster. Oh, that's pretty cool. So monster hunter um, the, and tank hunter, mm -hmm. which is interesting. Uh, Firecast Exemplar. You can add one to hit rolls in the shooting phase for other friendly Tau set 
uh, TX7 hammerhead gunships within six inches. Um, threat identification protocols, safety protocols, and attached drones we've all um, dealt with. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, it looks pretty pretty baller. Yeah, that's really interesting. Yeah. That's, that's an interesting tech, uh, thing to add the plus one rune to all the vehicles around you. Yeah, adds uh, plus one uh, two, two wound oh, rolls. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Add one to wound rolls. So, okay, yeah, so everybody so, around yeah. you, I, I gotcha. Yeah. So oh, he, he gets the plus one to wound rolls. And he adds one to hit oh, for okay. other uh, gotcha. hammerhead gunships. So. Interesting. So Which, it's like he, yeah, all right. Yeah. Um, so a hammerhead gunship. Uh, looks like the stat wise, it's the same. I mean, it's yes. the same <laughs> vehicle. Um, and it looks like the ballista skill one uh, less. is one less, of course, because long strike isn't in it. Yeah. Um, and the weapons are the same. Uh, so, and he just doesn't have those special yeah. weapons, like the, the special choices, same like piece. the uh, 10K. So, mm -hmm. yeah, pretty much the same thing, um, just without one less weapon skill, and you can take more than one. <laughs> All right, so the broadside battle suits. Yeah. Um, uh, base of one, you can have up to uh, two additional, so you can have up to three. So real quick, it looks like a, I mean, the weapon skill, five plus, ballista skill, four up. I mean, it's pretty standard. Yep. Five, five, six, top, uh, six wounds, dude. Yep. Like, <laughs> It'll take a lot to take them down. Right, because I think before that it was two. So, I mean, they're a lot more beefy than the ones yeah. that were. Uh, two attacks, blah, blah. Uh, two up save, we've seen that. Yep. Um, and yeah, you can have three of them. Um, yep. And then they are armed with a heavy rail rifle, Ooh. which is uh, range 60, uh -huh. heavy 2, strength 8, uh, AP minus 4, D6 uh, damage. And every time you, uh, on a wound roll, if you get a 6 plus, uh, it becomes, uh, you also have an additional yeah. uh, mortal wound on top so of that. So D6 plus 1. D6 plus 1 mortal wound. Because yeah. that can go over. So if the D6 kills the model that it shot, uh -huh. that mortal wound will go over. That's hot. So, so you're killing yeah, you two got dudes. two shots. You can have... That's basically it. like you're killing two guys if it's going against like one yeah. wound creatures. Um, so that's like each it, shot and there's two, two oh, shots. Oh, right, right, yeah. yeah. Uh, assuming you get sixes on both of those. Yeah. So, but I think that, like, it was kind of interesting, like the um, um, it, like the way it translates to the the other one. You know, like before, I think it just like took out. Um, you know, I have no idea what I was going to say with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were really good at at, at vehicles. Yeah. Now that vehicles share wounds, yeah. the, they're also equally as good at, at mm -hmm. taking out some multi-wound uh, uh, infantry models and stuff. And so let's move on, I'm still embarrassed. Sure, yeah, then we've got the, uh, the high yield missile pods you can also yeah. take with them, which are pretty brutal. Yeah. Is heavy four, strength seven, AP minus one, D3 damage each. Mm -hmm. So those are, uh, yeah, that's gonna do, and, and that's gonna do some damage. And you two of those guys, so it's actually heavy have, eight, if yeah, you think about so you it. basically have eight shots each with those on there, guys. And I think what's kinda so. neat, like these guys, can't they split fire? So it's like one, like four over here, four over here? Yep. Okay. Yep, because that's the way you, you well, that's the way it is now in Eighth yeah. Edition is that you can shoot whatever weapons at whatever models you want. That's so dope. The, the, each units, yeah. So it's pretty nice. Um, yeah, and there's special rules. They've got the usual stuff going on there: bonding knife, drone support, and savior protocol. So uh -huh. uh, these guys uh, have, coming from experience can be pretty brutal. They're gonna oh, be pretty. Okay. They're gonna be pretty. So you played it with yeah. a, against them in Eighth. Yeah, and they are okay. uh, very brutal. <laughs> oh, so here, man. Here comes the, the big one. Surge. Yes. Whew. All right, so I'm not I'm not sweating it like the uh, the Stampa. Yeah, <laughs> thankfully. Yeah. So movement six. So he's a little bit slower than the Riptide. Um, uh, five plus weapon skill. So he has a variable uh, ballistic skill at uh, four, five, six. Um, strength variable at eight, seven, six. Um, toughness seven, twenty wounds. Twenty wounds. Oh my gosh! So maybe you stack these together like Voltron, and you get a Stampa. Oh jeez. <laughs> so attacks is the three D three one. So pretty standard there. Uh, leadership eight and three plus save. Yeah. Oh gosh. Now let's go over their weapons. Oh, that can man. be all be super brutal. Gross. So you air got the burst. air burst fragmentation projector. Okay. Eighteen inch range. Assault D six. Strength four. AP zero. Uh, one damage. This weapon can be fired um, at units that are not visible to the bearer. So okay. Just, basically, so just like fires them off. Without smart missile system. Sight. Yep. Uh, with extra, extra power. Seen the burst cannon, the cluster yep. rocket system. This is fairly new, right? Yeah. So this is forty-eight inch, uh, heavy D forty-six. Four D six, heavy uh, four D six. And and the uh, the usual stat line, yeah, the, uh, the five hundred one. Yeah, five hundred one. Exactly. Five hundred one. <laughs> uh, destroyer missile, uh, D six or sixty inches, heavy one. Whoa, what is this? A unit hit by this weapon suffers D three mortal wounds. Damn! Before it was yep. the seeker was just one, right? Yep. Um, each destroyer missile can only be used once for battle. This weapon only hits 
uh, on a roll of a six plus or a six, regardless of the firing model's ballistic skill or any modifiers. And that's the thing with the marker light. If you have two marker lights on a unit, suddenly that destroyer missile hits at a full ballistic skill. Disney. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. Just we D3 have the- mortal wounds. It's just brutal. <laughs> Gross. So the uh, pulse blast cannon. That's its big gun. Uh, so you pick one of these, or no, you fire with it, and depending on its the distance. Oh, it's not. Yeah. This um, isn't the big gun. Well, no, this is the it big is. gun. Yeah, it yeah. is. It's one of them. There's yeah. two of them. So close range, 10 inch, heavy two, uh, strength 14. Dude. Strength 14. <laughs> just, just straight up. Yeah. All right. So this is eating big stuff. Um, minus four AP and six wounds. Yep. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, so that's heavy two. Yeah. Hitting on uh, threes. Four, fours. If it's, oh, hitting on fours. Um, maybe plus one if okay. he has if they have the marker lights there. Yeah. Um, or or something else. Wounding most vehicles mm-hmm. on twos because you're going to double out their toughness. Yeah. And you're doing it minus four save. You're looking at. Wait, wait, what's this minus, double out toughness thing? The toughness. So I, if you have, um, if you have, if you're t- if the strength so I don't know of the, the eighth edition. Oh, yet. Okay, oh, so. sorry. So yeah. So the way uh, wounds work here yeah. uh, to wound rolls is um, if the the strength of the weapon is. Um, is <clears throat> twice the half, toughness? Or no, is is twice the toughness of the attack of of the t- twice the toughness of the target. It's uh, a two plus to wound. Um, if it's more than the toughness, it's a three plus to wound. If it's equal to the toughness, it's a four plus to wound. Oh. If it's lower than the toughness, I think I heard about this. They got rid of like plus. the wound chart. Yeah, no more wound like, chart. It's, it's just, just a single categories. Yeah, it's it's variable based upon the strength to toughness. Okay. And then if it's uh, less than the toughness, it's a five plus to wound. And if it's half the toughness, then it's uh, a six up to wound. Okay. Yeah. So what you're saying is just it's wounding on two plus. It's going to be wounding on a two plus. Okay. And then each of those wounds is doing six damage. Okay. Yeah. So. Well, that's- Delicious. Yeah, that's brutal. <laughs> so at medium range, thankfully, it's not quite as nasty. Uh, however, it's a heavy four, so yeah, you're getting so you're a lot twice more Twice as many shots. Um, and it's st- uh, strength 12, which is laughable. Yeah, <laughs> <it's> just, <laughs> yeah. That's nothing. Oh, it's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> Minus two AP and then three wounds. Uh, long range, 30 inch. Uh, so it's like firing a cone. I think yep. it's like firing a cone. Yeah, it's like a shotgun blast. Like, blast. Yeah, so uh, heavy six, um, ten, zero, one. Yeah. Um, all right. Whew, all right. That's a lot. Uh, pulse driver cannon, 72, heavy D3, strength 10, AP negative three, and uh, D6 wounds. Oh. Um, when attacking unit with 10 or more models, this weapons type uh, changes to heavy D6. That's pretty cool. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, Lordy. it's a it's a it's a beast. It's a beast. It's gonna do. Uh, it does a lot of damage, a lot of output, mm-hmm. a lot of shots that are really gonna hurt you. Um, and then you've got uh, abilities. It does oh, it, uh, huh? it does the usual explodes because it's you know a, a vehicle of sorts. Uh, stabilizing anchors. Storm surge. May, uh, storm storm surge may deploy its anchors at the end of your shooting fa- uh, phase. While mm-hmm. its anchors are deployed, it may not move for any reason. And it cannot pile in and attack in the fight phase, but uh, you can add one to its hit rolls. Uh, the storm surge can retract its anchors at the beginning of any of your movement phases, and can then move, shoot, and fight normally. Ah, oh, so that's where that increasing your ballistic skill. Yeah. So you have to you have to be sitting still for an entire turn because you place it down at the end yeah. of your shooting phase. So you don't get that the first turn yeah. of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You definitely yeah, don't get the first turn the of the game. Turn. And then you can place them in and then they're, they're locked in. Mm-hmm. And if they ever want to move again, they can because they can lo- they can pick it up at the beginning of your movement phase and then you do normally but you don't get that plus one for the, the plus one to your ballistic skill. Mm-hmm. So if they drop the anchor, they're hitting on threes and oh, I take that back. Yeah. So you actually could use it the first turn because it's the end, the end of your movement. F- no, it's the end of your shooting phase. Okay, you deploy no, it. it. You yeah, you deploy it at the end of your shooting it. phase, but you retract it yeah. at the beginning of your movement phase. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it can be pretty brutal hitting on threes, especially when you've got the destroyer missiles or those uh, those pulse blast cannons shooting mm. at that at, at, at three plus. Yeah. So a walking battleship, this model can fall back in the movement phase and still shoot and or charge that turn and does not suffer the penalty for moving and firing heavy weapons. Pretty brutal. Yeah, this model can only benefit from cover when making saves if at at least half of it is low scared from the fire. Yeah, so the usual big big model syndrome there, big which is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, then we've oh. got, uh, yeah, this is like the uh, the different um, battlements here, fortifications for the Tau. Yeah. So we've got the Tidewall Drone Port. 
Uh, it's got a move of six inches, toughness seven, ten wounds, four plus save, fortification tide will drone, uh, drone port. Uh, cannot move independently, see below. Nor can it fight in the fight phase. Enemy models automatically hit the model in the fight phase, do not make hit rolls. However, friendly units uh, can still target enemy units that are within one inch of this model. Hmm. Uh, mobile defense platform. If a friendly Tau Empire infantry unit is embarked in the Tidewall drone port at the beginning of your movement phase, you may move it uh, in the move. Uh, you may move it in the movement phase. A Tidewall drone port cannot advance or charge. Hmm. So basically, they're driving the one. Uh, it's open top, which we've gone over. Uh, it's got drone control systems. Um, so uh, it comes with four tactical drones, uh, and it does explode. So. Oh okay. Yeah. So pretty pretty cool. Yeah. Now uh, model can transport any any number of infantry. So whatever you can throw on it. And one other Tau um, Tau Empire infantry. Uh, any number oh. of, of number of oh no any number of Tau Empire infantry characters and one other Tau Empire infantry unit, but no more than ten models in total. Okay. So you can have ten infantry characters. Yeah. Or you can have you know. A five-man squad and five characters, or whatever you want to do, up to ten models. Oh, okay. So okay, that's a weird we, way of saying. Yeah, it's very models. weird. Yeah. <laughs> then you've got the shield wall, uh, shield line, mm -hmm. or tide wall shield line. Yeah. So um, movement six, toughness six, and uh, wounds ten, four up. Uh, so fortification looks like it's the same. Tide wall networks. This is different. When a tide wall shield line that includes a tide wall defense platform is set up on the battlefield, both models are placed within one inch of each other from that point onwards uh, both are treated as separate units um, mobile defense platform uh, we've seen that before open topped uh, we know what open top does uh, tide wall field ooh this is this is different um, tide walls uh, shield line can uh, reflect shots back at the enemy okay like the last time for each save of a six plus you make in this uh, Shooting phase for a tide wall shield line. The attacking unit suffers one mortal wound. Oh gosh! One After mortal they wound. They have finished shooting. See, last That's time it was brutal. like I think it was the strength and characteristic of the weapon yeah. that was fired back at them. But now it's just now like it's just a mortal wound. You just screw yourself. You just take a wound. Gosh, uh, we need all and of it these. Can explode. Oh man, yeah, explodies. Yeah. Uh, tide wall gun ring or the Tau jacuzzi, uh, the gun jacuzzi. Uh, so this one has the uh, supremacy railgun. That sounds a little different. Is that the? Uh, yep, yeah, seventy-two inches, heavy two, strength ten, AP minus four, damage D six. Each time you make a wound roll of uh, of a six plus for this weapon, the target oh, unit oh. suffers D three mortal wounds in okay. addition. So. so this is just like the railgun for the hammerhead, except it's two shots. Yes, because uh, I think it was twin link before. Shot, yeah. Mm. So. Uh, so fortification, open top, mobile defense platform. An automated, we automated weapon. Okay. Unless a friendly Tau uh, enemy infantry, or I'm sorry, Empire, <laughs> they are the enemy. <laughs> Empire infantry unit is embarked on this model. Its supremacy railgun can only target the nearest visible enemy. If two units are equally close, you may choose which is uh, targeted. So you can just shoot at one unless there's someone inside. Um, a whole lot of words to say it can only hold 10 guys. Yep. Cool. So, there you go. Is that it? And that's it that's for it. the different units. Cool. Let's take a look at their um, <clears throat> their point values over here. It's probably, yeah. yeah. It's after this. So you got the orcs. Orcs. Lots of orcs. Tau. All right. So the Tau point values. A couple of them that were interesting that I wanted to Just look at. what a fire warrior is. Uh, that's important. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got the Riptide battle suit is 209 points base. Whoa. Yeah. That's a, not too far off from what yeah. it was. Yeah, um, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, the Storm Surge is 180 points base. Really? So yeah. it's less. But the ranged weapons, let's see what they have. Pulse Drive Cannon is 97 points. Okay. And uh, what was the other thing oh. that he had? The... Um, what was it, the Pulse Blast Cannon? Yeah, I think 43. so. 43. 43 points. So you're okay. already, like, really quickly yeah. pumping up the points on okay. that Okay, so thing. what was the um, um, the... Uh, heavy burst cannon is 55, yep. and then the, um, oh gosh. What High output burst cannon, is that the thing I think they had? Yeah, uh, just 20 uh, points. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, the points can really start to add up with these guys now, but it seems like they're super powerful, 
but you're paying for oh, these yeah, points. You're paying for them to, to be at them. Yeah, and the iron excel. Like yeah, so that's weird. Yeah. The, the Riptide iron. is definitely... Uh, yeah, it's more expensive yeah, than the Storm Surge. Definitely. I think the well, I think the Storm Surge can really start adding up its points because you have to pay for, you know, the uh, Flamer, which is nine points. Oh, you ha you I have gotcha. to take everything gotcha. in its base point value un yeah. un unless you exchange it. So you have to you have to build, buy all of those weapons in uh -huh. there. You can't choose not to. Okay. Um, you have I gotcha. to take any one that it says it has. Yeah, this is interesting because I think like with the orcs, like there's a lot of zeros along yeah. this line, but this nope. there's only a few. <laughs> you have the pulse rifle and the pulse pistol, that yeah. kind of stuff. But, but then of course it. orcs don't use or their shooty weapons very yeah, well. So. Exactly. <laughs> uh so let's go over their their support system. So they've got extra points you can get for um you know advanced targeting system, counter fire, defense, early warning override, all of these different fun things, multi-tracker for ghost kill and storm surge. Multi-tracker for everyone else, which is um, two points for everyone else, ten points for the Ghost Killer Storm Surge. Uh, Riptide Shield Generator is zero, so it's supposed to come with it. Um, but yeah, so you can take a whole bunch of these different things. Let's see what they Let's do. See, yeah. Um, so we got the support systems down here. Advanced Targeting System. A model equipped with the Advanced Targeting System increases the AP characteristic of all its <gasps> weapons by one. Ooh. So AP zero becomes minus one, minus one becomes minus two. So nice. Forth. Yeah, that can really add up, become... Um, painful. Uh, counterfire defense system. A model equipped with a counterfire defense system rerolls failed hit rolls when firing Overwatch. That's not bad. Rerolling uh, Overwatch, which is yeah. pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, drone controller. Friendly set drone uh, units within six inches of a model equipped with the drone controller add one to any hit roll. Pretty good. Okay. Uh, early warning override. If an enemy unit is set up within 12 inches of a model equipped with an early warning override, as a result of an ability that allows them to arrive mid-battle, i.e. teleporting to the battlefield, the model may immediately shoot at that unit as if it were your shooting phase. So cool. that's the, the early mm -hmm. warning road ride. Still pretty cool. Yeah. Multi-tracker. A model equipped with a multi-tracker can re-roll hit rolls of one if it is firing all of its weapons at the same target. Pretty okay. cool. And then you got shield generator. Model you know, it's shield actually kind of interesting, real quick. Yeah. You know, like some of these abilities, and I think we were talking about the uh, the long fangs earlier, where long fangs had the ability to shoot at multiple things, but now that like you're given the option to shoot at multiple yeah. things, they actually went in reverse with some of the powers. Yep. So instead of giving them the option to do what they can now uh, inherently do, they're actually giving them abilities to go back to seventh yeah. edition rules. Exactly. Multi tracker is like if you're shooting yeah. at one model or one unit. You get plus one. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, shield generator is a four plus invul save. Um, you cannot take this uh, support system on a riptide battlesuit. All mm -hmm. right. Uh, then you have stimulant injector. Roll a dice each time a model with a stimulant injector suffers a wound or mortal wound. On a roll of a six, ignore it. Feel no pain. Yep. Six plus feel no pain, including mortal wounds. Pretty cool. Uh, target lock. Model with a target lock does not suffer the penalty for moving and firing heavy weapons or for advancing and firing assault weapons. The model can also advance and fire rapid fire weapons, but must subtract one from the rolls when doing so. Mm, and then velocity, hot. yeah. And then velocity tracker, add one to hit rolls for this unit um, when it shoots at the unit, at a unit that can fly. So cool. basically giving it like... Okay, um, Skyfire. Skyfire. So yeah, so that's... Um, Turn it is. Yes, so cool. that is the Tau. Uh, forces. So that's fun, man. We're probably gonna end this one at uh, the at yeah. the orcs and the tau. Uh, it's still probably a super long video for you guys <laughs> to watch anyway. Uh, but that's what we got for this yeah. one. We will come back to you with the second half of the Index Xenos Two. That'll be the Griblies. That'll be all the Tyranids. <laughs> so we're gonna get Tyranids and the Gene Stealer Cult, and we'll go into those ones with that one. So I uh, hope you guys that, enjoy that'll just that. be Phil. That'll probably just be me because Ted said he's too tired. Yeah. So <laughs> uh, <Spiny stuff>. yeah. <laughs> God dang millennials and they're, and they're needing to sleep. Um, uh, I wish yeah. I millennial. <laughs> too much gray on this yeah. body. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I think these sound awesome. I think yeah. the Tau are still going to be powerful, but not as um, ex uh, exclusively dominant as they were, I think, in 7th mm -hmm. edition. Yeah. And I think the orcs are back. I mean, they've got some yeah. awesome stuff in there that's going to be really All those really boons brutal. for having big units, you know? Yeah. Like and they're not going to be falling away. They're not going to run away. Like, that was, a right. big, that was a big thing that kind of hurt the yeah. orcs. Orcs ran. Orcs ran. Like, they mm -hmm. ran a lot. And then you had the mob rule where you're taking away wounds and stuff. Like, I think at this point, you know, you have a lot of those characters in the orcs that, like, they can automatically pass morale tests. So they've got, they've got big units... They're taking morale as if that number is the size yeah. they're is they're uh, safe. Yeah. So if you got a thirty man unit and you lose ten guys, 
your leadership is still 20. I, I was sad you know? to see that they got rid of Ard Boys since I've been spending so much time painting Ard Boys. Yeah. <laughs> like, so oh, there's no heavy armor. armor. No, no heavy armor. Now, now they just have little plastic card armor. <laughs> yeah, well, it's fine. It, looks, it looks, still looks cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it'll come back in the codex. Yeah, so. exactly. So, uh, yeah, there's so yeah. much flavor. This, yeah. Like, this book, I mean, I, I not only want to finish up, uh, you know, get some. Get back into some orcs and paint up some stuff that I hadn't painted before, but yeah. I also want to get the towel back out. Yeah, like, this is that was a lot of fun. Yeah, you know, like seeing those guys. So yeah, and I'm interested in the second half of this. I'm excited for the Gene Steel Cult. So which is why I'm, I'm uh, jumping out of this. Yeah, he's running away from it. He doesn't care. <laughs> I don't want to start yeah. an army. Yeah, he doesn't care. Uh, yeah, so I hope you guys have all enjoyed it. Um, hope you've enjoyed this Mob Rules uh, yeah. Index Xenos Two Overview. Mm -hmm. And uh, check out the other ones. We've got uh, right. already up there. We've got the uh, Imperial, the, the Sandwich Eating Elves. Yeah, the Sandwich Eating Elves. The, all the Space Marines. <laughs> With all the Space Marines. So the, uh, the Chaos. Yeah, the Index One and. We've got chaos up yeah. there, so and you went to town uh, with that those. Guy. I did. They're all out. And yeah. is when this comes out. When's this one coming out? This, this oh, is, whatever. Yeah. So after this, then yeah. there should be um, the rest of the Imperium. Yep. You're gonna have the second um, Imperium. Book. Oh, actually, I think it'll be on Sunday. Uh, actually, that's it. I think that's it. Yeah. So and then the second Xenos. Two. Yeah. So we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll try to get this one out on the same day. So. All right. We'll try for that one. So yeah, we'll see what we'll happens. See. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what happens. But if you're watching this like three days later than when this came out, you can check out all of them. We've right. got all of the overviews <laughs> looking over the books so you can check them out and see what you guys think and uh, see how your army's doing. Yeah. So uh, let us yeah. know down in the down in the comments what you guys think about uh, think about the changes and what you're excited I, I, about. Well, I'm curious to see like if you would um, if you stayed for this part, uh, like what do you want to what are you going to do differently with your army? If your yeah. army was covered is either an orc or a towel, like what do you plan on doing differently? Yeah. Like. Um, that you didn't do in seventh edition. Yep. So. And if and if you uh, if you don't have them, but you're going to play against them, how does this change how you approach them? Oh, and yeah. How you're going to be facing them? Mm -hmm. So I think some things have changed, and uh, I think it's a lose. That's what they're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't so. accustomed to that. Before. Yeah, they weren't accustomed to that. So. <laughs> Unless you played against town. Exactly. <laughs> so I think that's a uh, I think those are pretty strong armies, and I hope you guys are excited as I am for eighth edition. Uh, so uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, until next time, we'll bye. see you. Take care.